your daddy again. How are you guys? Welcome on in. I'll turn it down slightly. We will actually let let's just pause Dream Daddy just 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 for a minute because you know it's been on your mind for weeks. I know it has. <laughs> You've been waiting for this moment, isn't that right, chat? To hear the Dream Daddy soundtrack. You haven't been able to get it out of your nightmares, your dreams. How is everyone? How is everyone? Welcome on in. Hello, Jamie, Princess, Blingy, Angel, Simmer, 64, Smurfy, Alex, Garata, Silly Munchkins, what up? Hello to our mods. We've got Carol, Metal and Nail Art, Stream Elements, which is a robot. Hello, robot. That's what we need to do, you know? The year is 22. We greet robots. Hello, Stream Elements. You are a robot, you know, but we appreciate you. Hello, Procrastination. I think I saw a Melon Nail Art in there at some point, too. We, oh, there's a Bentendo? Oh my god. Guys, Ben, you changed your profile pic. What is this? It's, it looks just yellow. You really gotta optimize. Like, I can't even tell if there's a logo, a symbol. I can't tell what's going on. You know, just a suggestion. Maybe you wanna get a graphic designer or something. <laughs> You need to think about your branding, Ben, if you want to be a streamer. <laughs> Who caught Ben's stream? Ben's two streams. Ben has streamed twice. Does, did anyone know? Uh, he did He did a terrible job at promoting it. Like he just, he, did, he never posted on Instagram. I think he posted on Twitter once. I think I promoted it on my Discord. So you're welcome, Ben for those shout outs. <laughs> we are so proud of Ben Hummus Mondays. <laughs> Loving Ben's streams. Hummus Monday was S tier. <laughs> we love bots. Yeah, I love bots. I caught them because I was moderating them. That's right. So Ben has moderated for me and you know, I've I moderated for him. I must say that uh, the extent of my moderation was basically letting him do whatever and letting chat do whatever, which is like the opposite of this chat. But you guys are super well behaved on my streams, just not on Ben's. We love hummus. Everyone is in my hummus gang? No, no, no. It's the Menchi gang. Menchi gang will always win against hummus gang. Sorry. You don't have the numbers, Ben. Retirement fund is amazing, Ben. Yo, Ben's still waiting for the math to come in from his super chats because it takes like three days. But um, I really want to know whether or not he got his return on in his investment for that those hummus purchases. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to do the math to see if his streaming career is sustainable, to see if it's viable to continue, or if we should just cancel it, you know, early. Cost savings? Just saying. <laughs> You want to see a Menchi? Menchi! Super chat from Kelly. Uh, I want to know what brand of protein powder you use. Why do you want to know that? <laughs> Kelly Peoples. Um, okay, I use PE Science. <laughs> there you go. I like their flavors. The vanilla and the cake one is really good. Not sponsored. They do sponsor influencers though, but I like theirs because of the texture. It's whey protein though. So if you're vegan, then you wouldn't want that. Um, for vegan protein, there's one by Women's Best that I like, but I normally don't like most of their flavors. <laughs> but like the one called Peanut Butter Cereal or something by Women's Best, that one's vegan and tastes good. Two people were interested in that, but. <laughs> Cat Litter Box, who meant you? I hope she's not pooping right now. How are you doing today? Thank you, Toki Rat, for asking. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> Who else is tired? <laughs> but that's okay because I've got tea. I've got tea. <laughs> Guys, cheers. Cheers. Cheers to my toucan, Sam. Mm. I feel like I've been in meetings all day. 
like now I'm just ready to go on a date with dads, you know? Like that's just how my day has gone. I had like a two, almost three hour meeting that just finished. And before that I had more hour meetings. Um, I didn't do any pictures or video today. It's just been meetings. <laughs> I, I hate meetings. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what brand of cat treats do your cats love the most? Uh, from Clarissa. Uh, greenies. Feline greenies. Yeah. Feline greenies, if you're listening, please sponsor my cats. <laughs> they would love it. I'm a 33-year-old fellow. I'm always tired. Honestly, though, like, yeah. <laughs> That's just the mood. You can see it in my eyes. <laughs> Super chats are asking the real questions, I know. <laughs> holo taco meetings? Yes, half of them were holo taco meetings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's there's always holo taco meetings. That's like every day. If there's not a meeting, there's emails or messages that are holo taco. It's every day. It's every day, bro. It's nail polish. <laughs> Thank you, Jade Dudley. How old are Menchie and Zyler now? Much love from M Michigan. Thank you. Um. How old are our children, Ben? I always forget. <laughs> Just like I forget my fucking age. I don't remember. Um, I think Xyler's like 13 or 14. And Menchie's like 8, right? Does that make sense, Ben? I don't even remember. They're, they're babies. They are kittens. They will always be kittens. They're old cats. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Menchie was born June 2013. Okay, so what's that? I'm too tired to do math. <laughs> Yo, you know what's funny is like, I know you guys think of me as like a math person because you know, crime statistics analyst, but I don't do math on the spot. I need Excel. Like I've become overly reliant on Excel to just do simple multiplication and even addition. I'm like, fuck it. I don't trust my brain. And you know what it is? It's not because I don't want to think about it. It's because you can never trust your brain when you have a computer right in front of you. Does anyone in their like careers or jobs feel the same? Like if you have a spreadsheet or a calculator right there that could just confirm it a hundred percent for you why not just use that why use your brain when you have a computer use a bot is what i'm saying sponsored by bots <laughs> like those fucking multiplication exams in like grade 10 were so stupid like why are you testing my memory i'm always gonna have a calculator <laughs> How do I become a member? I can't figure it out. Um, click this link right here that came up in the chat shortly after you. If you don't see join underneath your this screen where you see me talking, then it's probably because you're on an Apple device. Uh, so on an Apple device, you gotta click the link directly or go on a computer if you just go on a computer. Too tired to do math gang? Yeah, honestly, like why would you trust your brain? Your brain makes mistakes. Just being honest, so does my brain. <laughs> but I do trust a good spreadsheet and a formula. I mean, you have to input the formula, but you know, if you knew you did it once correctly and you're just copying and pasting the formula, you're good, you're golden. Okay, facts, my brain is fallible 100% of the time. Why I trust it? At work especially, you can't take responsibility for making a huge mistake over a simple math error. Exactly. Spreadsheets, formulas, conditional, formatting, love it all. <clears throat> is there even a hummus gang? No, there's not. It doesn't exist. Ben does not have members. <laughs> ben is sabotaging? What is he doing? Join the hummus gang? No, there is no hummus gang on this channel. If you have an iPhone, go to YouTube on Safari on desktop view, then it'll give you the join. Oh, good point. Yeah. So in the YouTube app on Apple devices, there is no join button. But if you go into desktop view on Safari, which is the Apple browser, you should see it or just go on your computer or click on that, that link that occasionally pops up every 12 minutes from the stream elements bot about how to join the channel. There's a direct link. And then, yeah, there's two options. I highly encourage the Menchie gang uh, because like look look this is why I, I don't need a pitch just look at look at my cat 
I'm still the only one and simply react on Discord. Well, why are you there? Just hang out with us, cats over humans. <laughs> Just stay here. You can talk to us. We're here. We're chilling. I'm here. I'm not in Discord. There's a join button in Android. Yeah, I don't know. Simply IT support. That's what I'm doing. All right, guys. I'm IT support. What else would you like to know about YouTube? About uh, how to join this channel? How to join the Menchie gang? <laughs> Do you have an iPhone? I have an iPhone. Oh, did you guys see the new backgrounds? Ben, don't text me. But look. Look. No one texts me. No one texts me. Look. <laughs> the new Hollow Taco backgrounds. They're up. Wait, are they up? Am I lying? I might be lying. If not, they're going to be like up tomorrow. Everyone always asks when the backgrounds are going to be up. So you can put them on your phone, on your watch. We put the, them on uh, Ben's watch. Are they up? Are they up? They are up. show you there is no hummus gang to join oh where's Menchi wrong ham see look you can okay so on the holo taco website if you go to media backgrounds i used to just google holo taco backgrounds <laughs> but you can go to media backgrounds and we've uploaded the new light mode collection phone backgrounds this is this you can use on android or iphone and then there's also uh zoom backgrounds if you scroll down but look how many we've added um i think this is my phone this one yeah so it's like blurry i personally like the bokeh which ones are you guys using When is the nail art video coming? This Sunday, this weekend. But the NFTs are gone. <laughs> yeah, oops, we deleted the NFTs. <laughs> I'm in love with the light link background. This is really nice if this is your like aesthetic. Ooh. So remember to click into it and then download the high res version. But this is kind of cool. I personally like this one, but this blue one is so nice. If you really like blue, I think that one's cool. The first one on the list is your fave. That's nice because it gives you that like dimension between blurry and then more in focus. The last one on the first row, this one, yeah, that one's cool. That's sick. I like that one. I like the, I usually like the spills with more than one color because I think it gives more dimension, but it kind of depends. If you have like a purple theme or a blue theme or the green theme, then that on its own is really nice. And then of course we have, you know, historical ones, the black hollow, the winter shimmers, the tea, if that's your aesthetic. I change mine with every launch and every season just because, you know, kind of suits the mood. But yeah, we, we try and keep a lot of them, not all of them. We do have to delete some of them because they take up so much space on the website to just keep them there. But you know, we keep some of the iconic ones and then there's Zoom backgrounds. So if you're in meetings, you can just have this as your background. <laughs> oh yes, you can sit in a pile of nail polish and talk to your boss. Yo, this is sick. This is the winter shimmers. Okay, I don't know why we're doing this, but I just really wanted to. <laughs> Thank you, Clarissa. Christina, I've been watching your videos for years and I finally got my dad to watch your videos. He was cracking up so much. He loves the banana jokes. Oh yeah? Is he gonna join the Hums Gang? <laughs> I haven't used the backgrounds, but I'm considering looking for a new background. There is literally a background for every single color scheme at some point. Like spilling nail polish just looks so pretty in a background. Um, I started using them as backgrounds before we even intentionally thought we would use these pictures for backgrounds and then everyone started asking for them so we started making them specifically in this right scale with the logo like in the middle at the bottom of the phone we optimize it for most phones so that it fits just right and yeah usually the clock displays at the right area if you're why well, i know it's different depending on your phone but yeah 
we always do that just just as like a free fun thing for every launch and then you can change your phone background or your watch background for every season do you use them for your zoom meetings yeah i did <laughs> You use electrostatic to use less battery because it's dark? Is that true? Yo, really? Is that how that works? What? Am I dumb? Or like, is that a thing? If you use a black background, does that use less battery because the pixels don't have to use the same intensity and brightness? Is that true? I thought there's, they still have to show something though, right? I have no idea. <laughs> that sounds so cool though. I've never heard of that. But what do I know? Christine discovers technology. Guys, I'm learning. You are teaching me. It depends on the screen type. Huh. I just use dark mode on my phone. Yeah, um, yeah, like I have dark mode on too. But yeah, that's a really good point. I never thought about that. How long have you had your earpiece pierced? Um, oh, here? For like ever. For like 10 years. And then I have three holes here. I'm not wearing an earring. Three, three, and then one. So seven. But yeah, I haven't changed these earrings for like a million years. It's kind of gross. <laughs> it sounds real, but yeah, you know, it sounds like it makes sense, but I have no fucking clue. Did this hurt? No, not really. Princess Blingy, funny voice request. Wordle, like, and like Cubert Box. Wordle? Wordle the turtle. Do you want to do a Wordle? Wordle the turtle. Are we gonna play the Wordle? <laughs> I don't know what you mean by Cubert Box. What do you mean? Say, say like, Cubert? Do you want to play some Cubert? Not you. Not you. <laughs> Welcome to my live stream. <laughs> ben hates this. You don't know what you've started. What do you mean? What are you saying? What's the problem? It sounds like he's drowning. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I do feel like that, you know, most days. <laughs> I do this sound when I want to annoy Ben, which is daily. And now I'm annoying you. Mission completed. Okay, do we want to play Dream Daddy or we just want to talk about the world of the world of the world? You are 62? I am 62. Welcome on in, senior citizen. I feel like I'm 62. I feel like I lived a day in the 62 year old's shoes in the last day. Because <laughs> my back hurts. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, I'm not playing Wordle because I suck at it. I feel like I, I forgot how to spell. You know, this, this is the truth. It's been so long that I've been in school, I do not recall how to spell. <laughs> it's not, my talent is definitely not spelling. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> Welcome Jennifer to the Menchi Gang. The new collection box, Ben's Qbert and LOL. I still don't know the question, but stop paying. <laughs> what do you, what about it? Oh, we took it out of this room. Ben, bring me a collection box. <laughs> oh, have I tried playing Qbert? I did, and I couldn't figure it out. Like, do you want to see me try? Cause I'm, I'm a, I'm an idiot. I tried playing it. <laughs> like, I swear to God. Qbert Online. If anyone has, like, a good um, website suggestion, I know there's, like, a ton of emulators, but if someone 
has one that they think works well functionally, then just write it in chat and I'll type it out. Ah, uh, it has arrived. The light mode just arrived. Box so pretty. My dog wanted to eat the ma the delivery man. <laughs> Thank you for your super chat. R R S T. And I yeah, I'm so excited. People are getting their light modes already. What is it? It's Wednesday. Oh, Ben has a light mode. Do not spook the mensch. You have to enter calmly. Calm energy only. <gasps> Look at the shift. Menchie. If you spook her out of there, do not spook. Do not spook. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Show them your nails. Are you still wearing them? He's, yeah. There you go. Nope. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Ben. Bye. I'm not playing Wordle. I can't spell. Yo, guys, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna redo the launch stream. Here you go. <laughs> it's so exciting, though, seeing people I've already seen on Twitter and Instagram. People have said that they've gotten it in the mail, which is amazing because I always love to be able to reshare, retweet, repost, whatever. You guys getting the collection and playing with it while we still have them available. So we, do, we still do have boxes, which is awesome news. And yeah, now I'll be able to share people's boxes and they will be available. <laughs> So that's great. Here is this arriving tomorrow. Woo! -hoo! You're painting with it right now? Yes, who's painting their nails? Don't forget to use hashtag paint with simply on social media so I can find it after the stream. And if you are using light mode, you can also use hashtag light mode or hollow taco, tag hollow taco, so I can see, so I can stalk you. Okay, I wanna stalk you. If you use this, I would like to stalk. So you need to tag so I can find you, you know? Otherwise it's hard to find you. <laughs> you should be there by Friday. You're painting your face? Okay, just hopefully not with nail polish. Hollow Taco does not sell gel polish, but what you can do is like, if you use gel polish, then go ahead, use your gel, but then you can use one of our toppers, like a unicorn skin, a Hollow Taco topper, and then let it dry like completely. This is the only way you can combine regular and gel polish. Let it dry completely, like a good hour, and then put on a gel top coat if the, your goal is that you wanna use a totally gel manicure, because then that way you, you can use our toppers and to use a gel manicure. This is for people who do their nails gel at home, or you could take it to a nail tech. My hollow was thrown at my door. USPS goes hard. I mean, maybe they were just trying to get it to you really quickly, but they should not be throwing it at your door. Yeah, I know, that always sucks. I've, it's, it's happened to all of us. We've all had a package that's been smushed, <laughs> that's been wrecked, that's been driven over. I know, it sucks. Painting swatches for the quest for all the combos working on Shady Navy. Oh my God, the people working on the all the combos spreadsheet have so much work to do. I apologize. <laughs> Guys, I know exactly how much work you have to do. <laughs> These are the same wheels from launch towards the end of stream. I'm sure most of you caught it, but if you did not, we did a lot of different wheels, checking out different combinations of using the new light mode over top of Krems to give it a totally different look. And I think we were very pleased to like discover this wheel. So that's, those are the Krems. And then we put the light mode over top. Like what? Like what? Look at this. Look at this. That's pink or gray. Anyways. This content already exists. There is a highlight. I posted a stream highlights. It doesn't include all the combos though. You gotta watch the full stream for that. But anyways, we did a lot of this. Thank you guys who were there with me towards the end of launch on Saturday who stuck around. 
It's always fun to explore all the combinations, but it's impossible to do um, without three hours. You know, I need I need three hours. <laughs> the minimum amount of time I need is three hours for a launch. I always use Holo Taco as toppers to my gel polish. Excited for the new collection to arrive. Thank you, Laura. Yes, I've heard a lot of people doing that, and I need to do a better job of showcasing that. Actually, if you guys know any good like nail influencers or nail accounts of people who regularly work with brands or kind of do their own content, but who do a mix of gel and regular, I'm definitely on the lookout for those kinds of accounts um, to try and get some content out there that introduces the idea of how to use our toppers if you're using gel. But I also recognize like most people, regular nail painting people do not use gel because it's not as um, accessible in your home. But for those who do want to take it to a salon, yeah, I'm definitely interested in some content creators who kind of make that content. So tell me, tell me somewhere, tell me on Twitter. I'll p pay more attention on Twitter. Or you can leave it as a comment on this video after after the live is over. Ben, if you have a link to a Qbert emulator, or just tell me like the website. I found one, but I don't know if it's the best one. The free 80s arcade, there's too many. Why only toppers with gel? The linear HT is amazing with gel. You you could do that too, but I do worry like, okay, I'm not a nail technician, but you're not technically supposed to be mixing formulas only because if you put on a bunch of regular nail polish, like normal nail polish, and then you don't let it dry enough, and then you put on a gel top coat and you cure it, you risk uh, the regular nail polish not having the airspace to dry properly, which is like not a good thing because it can harbor bacteria. So that's why usually nail techs will like do one or the other. So if you're just like a user at home, I feel like there's some precautions you want to take and that's why no one really advises to use both. But that's just my basic understanding. Uh, if you do use them together, you really gotta like watch someone who's given specific advice and make sure the regular polish is 100% dry before proceeding with gel. But yeah, definitely interested to hear from people who, like everyone's saying Susie, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Susie! Okay, I have q -Bert here. Do we try this as a joke and then move on to Dream Daddy after like five minutes? Okay, let's do that. What do I do? Eh. What? One player. There, can you hear that? It's not playing. Because <laughs> it's not playing any noise. There. Okay, there. Um, will you make a meet and greet in Montreal in the future? Um, I'm not sure. I don't have any meet and greets planned at the moment ever since COVID. Uh, there's been zero meet and greets planned uh, for obvious reasons, but like, who knows? Yeah, I am i don't think I'm going to VidCon, um, but if there is ever a reason, then maybe. I don't know, you guys see me right here though. You know, like the remote is the new meet and greet. This is the new meet and greet. Live streams, the new meet and greet. Okay, press enter to start. One player. Jump on squares to change them. Oh my God. I said one player. Oh, I have to enter one player. <laughs> I just pressed. <laughs> this control, okay. A is yes or B or no. Uh, which one's up right? 
I don't have that controller, I just have a keyboard, obviously. Ben, I'm dumb. You're probably gonna have to tell me what to do. No, I don't know how to make it fill the screen. Um, oh, I lied. We could do this. No, we could do this. A, A equals X. Ugh. But what's down right? Not it's not the arrow keys. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> what what's down right? Press A. Okay, yeah, but if I sure, but I'm supposed to be testing, right? Isn't the point to like test which key it does what? Right now, I don't know which key is actually down right. It will be the arrow keys. How do I know? Okay, I guess we'll find out. Ah, get away from me. Wait, what's the point of this? Oh shit. Oh no. No, no, no. There we go. Don't worry, there, there's a strategy. Nope, there's no strategy. Nope, nope. <laughs> Yo, how do I change the difficulty level? Oh, I don't want to just... It's so unintuitive. I didn't mean to go up. I meant to go down. <laughs> because it's not actually... It's not actually diagonal. Okay, you don't want to keep jumping off the edge and dying. Okay, well tell those balls to get the fuck away from me. I've heard that before. Up, you had... Oh, I tried. <laughs> oh, no. Ben, you go. Okay, go. No, no, try again. I want... Okay. You should try. I'm sweating. It's okay. It's not that stressful. Are you sure so it's you not go down, down? Down. But don't jump all the way to the bottom. You gotta watch out for that ball. Watch out for that guy. That was better. That was I better. literally was just guessing. So like, I was just those... pressing. Oh, you're... See that frisbee? Up, press up again. We'll take it to the top. <gasps> now go the right side. Go down the right. There, there. Go, go. You, gotta keep... you gotta watch out. You better watch out. You better not watch out. The cue birds coming. <laughs> you killing yourself? <laughs> I'm tired. Oh, I got the middle one. I got the middle one. No, 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 no. Right up. Right left, left. <laughs> <laughs> not up. Come on, come on. You're, you're doing, you're doing good. Up, up, right. You almost need the first to try one more time. Ugh. One more time and you might be able okay. to... My nails. Your nails. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> like I meant, it's not intuitive. I know. Shit. <laughs> okay, now you got it. Up. Right. Okay, use the plat. Use the disc. No. Sure. <laughs> okay. Okay, get that one on the right. Right. Down. Down. Left, 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 left. No! <laughs> You're so close. Oh, no, no, I'm there! <laughs> okay, Ben, you do it. Can you just do it Try once? One time, one time. Otherwise, yeah, just once. Cause we, gotta, we gotta play Dream Daddy. A. A. Press A. Could you press A for me? Oh. I thought you were talking to yourself. Yeah, I'm coaching myself. I press A. You gotta press, press enter. Press enter again, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Ben's gonna go now. Oh, it's the world turtle. It's the world of turtle. <laughs> no! No! Ben, I don't think you could be a pro streamer. What's why do you have like a shrimpy nose? It's like a little snout. A little snout McSnowy. Oh man. 
This is really weird with the uh, arrow key. Don't make excuses. I told you, see? Because you think you're going diagonal right, but you're really going down right, you know? Because there is no such thing as keys like a diamond. They're in a square on your keyboard. What does that mean? You win? Wordle, wordle turtle! Wordle turtle! Means you win the light mode collection! Imagine the colors change to this. <laughs> and it was, yo, this kind of looks similar! <laughs> okay, Ben basically just did that to show off. Thank you, Ben. All right. <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> Mitchy! Mitchy, what's going on? The light mode box could have been LEDs that changed. Yeah, it could have been LEDs, but then we would have had to charge you three times the price <laughs> just for the box. <laughs> Yo, this box is cool. You know, look, look at the shine. I'm happy with how it turned out, mostly because um, Ben had a hand in the design, and that makes me happy. <laughs> Did you guys see the behind the scenes of that box? I posted it on TikTok. And, um, Tiki Talk. And YouTube shorts. Right? Yes. Yes. Here. I share with you in case you're using TikTok. Go say you're here from stream. <laughs> Alright. Okay. We're going to move into Dream Daddies. I'm just sharing the behind the scenes TikTok um, for how we made the box. Well, like the, the graphics design, inspiration, changing, you know, the evolution of the box. Okay, let me get set up for a dream daddy. Dream daddy. I'll be your dream daddy. Dream Daddy, get ready, get ready for the sound. Let's play. Where were we, guys? It's been so long. I've neglected my daddies. Oh my god, so many messages from Craig. I do want to say that I'm not sure that people want to see me play this game for like the next eight episodes, and I feel like it could take eight more streams to complete all the daddies based on how this is go. So I do want to wrap it up. Wrap it up <laughs> and pick a daddy, even though, yes, we haven't explored all of them. Yo, Menchi, what are you doing? Menchi, you're ruining what I've done here. There we go. <laughs> Menchi, we had to make room for her head. Okay, so let's make this the last episode. We're probably going to end up picking one daddy. Hey, dude, I've got the run. Yo, didn't we already have this conversation? We literally had this conversation about a milkshake, right? Yes. Want to come with me to the gym? Come on, man. It'll be fun. Sure. We had this conversation. What? Am I... Did this... What? Did it not save... Save our progress? Or did we have that conversation and then I didn't go on the date? Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. What? Is this Animal Crossing? <laughs> Why does this look like something else? What's going on?
The gym just installed these new virtual jogging treadmills. We'll feel like we're running outdoors. You can see other runners on your screen too. Let's try this out together. <laughs> other runners? Will I be able to keep up? Don't worry, we're here to cheer each other on. I'll be right there with you. Just get a rhythm going, keep your heart rate up, but don't overexert yourself. You'll do great. Oh no, oh no! Wait, what do we do? How do I run? What do I, do I just press forward? I think, why am I a ghost? Why am I like see-through? Why am I a ping? I'm a PNG, yo. Run faster. Yo, we got eggplant power. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Yo, why am I slow? Hurry up. How do I get like super speed or something? The game is making me slow. Like I'm literally pressing forward. It's not working. This looks like Animal Crossing and I've, I've never played an Animal Crossing and I think this looks like Animal Crossing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Face bar? No. All the buttons do the same thing. Dang. Just pressing forward. Eggplant power. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, do people run with boners? It's kind of weird. <laughs> I've never thought about that before. <laughs> Why would I have ever think about this before? Obviously. Yo, what up, daddies? Animal daddies. <laughs> you want to keep the water bar low? How do I do that? Just not run that hard? But I want to win. <laughs> Yo, we're beating Craig. <laughs> Yo, this is fun. Is this how Animal Crossing works? Because I think I would like it. Hurry up! Let's go! Why am I so slow? What did Ben say? I missed it. <laughs> Keep pressing forward. Don't hold down. I am. I am. I'm like tapping. Tapping. Yo, we're, we're on the beach. We're on the beach. Don't let the bar get to the top or the bottom. Okay, I get it. So just keep it in the middle. Who's that? That's not a daddy. Or is it? Is that the babysitter? Is that Amanda? Is that our daughter? Where's the animals? Where are we crossing? Where's the crossroads? Look at all the water! <laughs> the water emoji. Let's go, eggplant power! Running, <laughs> running with a boner! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Guys, I'm 12. You know, sometimes people put I'm 12 in the chat and then the mods have to delete it because, like, we don't want to have kids writing in the chat even if you're not a kid and you're just trolling. I am actually 12, so please go ahead and ban me. <laughs> ban me, bitch! <laughs> Where are we going? Where are we going? Like... I just realized I'm not even steering. The computer is steering for me. I don't have to control anything. <laughs> How do you guys put me in timeout? <laughs> Yo, there's the finish line. I think that's where we're going. Let's get it. Let's get it. Finished. Woo. Winchy, we did it. Way to go. Yay. Welcome. You've got dads. Welcome. You've got dads. Okay, now what? We have no messages. I'm exhausted. Do you, do you guys need some water? Whew, fuck, I need water. Mm, 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 mm. You just realized that? Realized what? What did I say 15 seconds ago? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> what did I say? 
Does S++ mean shitty++? No, I think it means like S tier. What does S tier even mean? Like super? Super tier? I don't know. Oh, that the computer was steering for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, okay, you can... I get an A for effort in gaming, all right? <laughs> you realize, like, yeah. Okay, let's explore Craig, since we're probably going to conclude with Craig. Just saying. Um, we already read this. So how do, how do we date? Message? Always check the card reader at the ATMs before you swipe. What does that mean? Check the card reader. Like, just look at it? I don't understand. I really want... Oh, should I move Menche? Menche, you gonna go over here? Yeah. I really want to go get some good quality time in with Craig. The last time we hung out, he was so busy with the kids and fending off flirty moms that I feel like we barely talked. Fucking flirty moms named Karen. <laughs> Ever since the first time we hung out, I've been trying to get up a little early for runs. Yo, that's good. Craig's having a good influence on us. Maybe I'll even be able to catch up with him now because we're practicing. Mm. I type out a message to him on dad book. Hey, man. Been training on my run game recently. Ready for round two? Oh, we're showing off. Dude, of course. Emojis. Wait, why did he just write emojis? I don't know why he didn't just send an emoji rather than type it out. <laughs> Let's meet up early tomorrow morning for my favorite morning activity. Brunch. B-R-U-N is capitalized. Why? Brun? You run and then you get brunch. Oh. Ha 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 ha. Craig and I agree to a time to meet in the morning and I have a chance to spend the evening hanging out with our daughter. Amanda, so are we doing pizza tonight? Again, can't we do like a salad? Was there like a pause in the stream? I just got a weird notification. I think everything looks fine. Ben, let me know. Uh-oh, yeah, it cut out. Uh, it said my OBS was disconnected. Okay, yeah, it was it was on my end. But it's back? Okay, we're good. That was so weird. I don't know. I've never seen that before. Why? Why? Okay. All right. I think we're good. Let me check. Yes. You never left? All right, well then. <laughs> okay, so we want salad now. What about a garbage bowl? Can we do a garbage bowl? Dad, are you on a health kick? I want to impress Craig. <laughs> I formed the committee to examine the possibility of being on a health kick. They haven't returned with their findings. <laughs> Dad, if you go on a health kick, then I have to go on a health kick by virtue of being under the same roof as you. I don't even know if I have the constitution for that. Don't worry about it. Do whatever you want. The committee is a smokescreen. Even if the policies change on paper things. On paper, things will keep going the way they always have. City politics. You know how it goes. Hot diggity dog. In that case, Amanda picks up the phone and orders a pizza. Orders a pizza with chicken, bacon, extra cheese, and tomatoes. That's my girl. From now on, though... How will we try to limit this to four times a week? Limit this to four times a week? Well, we're being sarcastic. <laughs> yeah, we're being sarcastic. I was going to be like, what? Rico says, hey, the food gets delivered and we plop down on the couch to eat some huh. pizza. Just be careful. Running is a gateway drug. It's a slippery slope. First, you go on a couple light jogs, and before you know it, you're converting the garage into a home gym and renewing your subscription to some sort of weekly kombucha delivery service. <laughs> Funny. Somewhat true. Not entirely, but, like, I get it. <laughs> Question. Shoot. 
What's kombucha? I hate kombucha. I'm sorry. I know some people like it. I can't stand the taste. It tastes like sour licorice yogurt. I like yogurt, but I, I don't like the residue of it in a liquidy drink. I don't know. Just not for me. I know it's like supposed to be fermented healthy stuff. But I just don't like the taste. I can't get on with it. I'd rather drink iced tea. You know what I'm saying? See, some people love it. See, some people love it. I, I can't do it. I drink tea. <laughs> Maybe you just haven't had good kombucha? No. We've tried good kombucha from like, you know, those fancy f foodie healthy places. I just, it's not for me. I'm just giving you a hard time, Pops. I'm really happy you're running more and caring about your health, but I want to keep you around, or I want to keep you around as long as possible. Thanks, kiddo. Speaking of which, I'm running with Craig tomorrow. You gonna be able to keep up with him? We should practice. Hey, probably not. We laugh and eat more pizza than is probably healthy in the name of carbo loading. When I first started running in the mornings, it was pretty hellish. Now that I'm a few sessions in, it's become easier. <laughs> Despite it always ending in me dry heaving over a trash can. Is that what the runner's high is? Dry heaving? <laughs> I lace up my tennis shoes, throw on a t-shirt, and head out the door to a, at a moderate jog. Craig is already outside with his baby. His 40 pound baby strapped to his chest. There he is. There's the 40 pound baby. Look at that heavy, heavy weight right there. He's dressed head to toe in color coordinated running gear. The same clothes we've seen him seen him in every single day. Does fermentation cause migraines? That's what people are saying. I don't know if that's true or not, but I definitely get migraines. Maybe maybe that's why I don't like it. <laughs> not the 40 pound baby. Hey bro. Morning, Craig. River is going to be running with us. Mm. Best as she can. We're taking it to the limit, aren't we, kiddo? Goo. <laughs> no, no, no. I believe the 40-pound baby pronounced this as follows. <laughs> oh, I know what that means. Craig hands her a stuffed toy, which makes her smile. Oh. That's Arnold the capybara. I have no, the capybara? What's a capybara? Sometimes it's the only thing that'll get her to stop crying. Oh, I've been there. Amanda had a stuffed panda that she carried around everywhere. So you've been running lately? Yeah, every morning for 30 minutes. I'm basically an elite athlete by this point. <laughs> hey, I mean, ha, I can't read it. Well, I'll try and keep up. Look at Craig being so nice to us in our trying efforts. So where are we headed? I was thinking that we could do a couple laps around the park. That sounds reasonable. Then we'll do some hill climbs up a slope. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and then, then we'll finish it off by doing some wilderness survival hike running to increase our agility. Yo, he's just trolling with us. I'm suddenly struck with the overwhelming need to crawl back into bed and die. Mm -hmm. That sound okay to you, bro? I usually like to throw some timed murder sprints in there, but I'll go easy on you since you're a beginner. <laughs> that sounds like something I am able to physically do. Bro. But we'll find out on this episode of Can Christopher Without the H Keep Up? Great, let's get started, shall we? Craig and I finally arrive at the park. A few other lone joggers make their way around the perimeter, and River waves enthusiastically at everyone as we pass. It's a lot more peaceful in the mornings. Aside from birds chirping and River gurgling away in the stroller, it's pretty quiet. Are we going to find peace and serenity? Oh my god, guys, we're going to find peace, serenity, freedom. All right, good warm-up. That was the warm-up. Nice. Let's start the show. Bro. But wait, there's more. Craig reach, reaches into his bag and tosses me a water bottle. Oh. You gotta hydrate, bro. It's sparkly Gatorade. 
Looks like wireless mode. <laughs> I take a long drink from the water bottle and feel reinvigorated. Man, I don't drink it. I was just gonna say like, why, why is drinking water like so revolutionary? I guess that uh, we just don't drink water. Reminder, chat. Reminder, drink your water. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> water break. <laughs> I have, I feel like I've forgotten how to drink water. Normally, I mean, I usually do a good job of having these on my desk at all times, but I've just been so busy that I've even forget to go fill it up. I know you think of me as your mom, but today I'm your daddy. And today your daddy is reminding you to drink water, okay? There you go. <laughs> All right, daddies. Drink water. Feel better. Get stronger. Hey. I look down and pick up Arnold, Riverd's toy, and hand it back to her. Must have dropped this. Oh. Thanks for looking out, bro. bro. You ready? How is the baby okay with this? <laughs> like, the baby, okay. The baby did not agree to being juggled around up and down a fucking mountain or whatever, wherever we're climbing or, dr I was gonna say driving, running. But I'm ready, hmm. whatever. I'm not, I'm not this baby. This baby looks tired. How You're gonna wake this baby up. We finally finish our however many teenth lap around the park. Is the baby sleeping? Like we ran, what? I'm breathing heavily. I can't believe I I could actually, I didn't lose him. I look down at my shirt and notice that I'm drenched in sweat. Almost looks like a frowny face. The baby finds it fun? Yo, the, the baby's like a real one, honestly. I don't understand. Like you should, yeah, like some, who has kids? Cause I don't know the rules, but like, I feel like this is kind of, weird right <laughs> like what i don't i don't know maybe I, I don't really know but i can't really picture someone running with a baby for multiple laps because how does the baby not constantly bounce <laughs> right like in a stroller yeah i kind of sort of maybe get that i do not understand Stream is choppy? Ben, why? Oops. Not that. The stream house says it's fine. I think it's an OBS thing, to be honest. Because I got a notification on my computer that I'd never seen before that said uh, that OBS had trouble connecting. Not, not YouTube. Uh, stream health says fine. My internet is fine. I think maybe OBS is kind of fucking up. Dear OBS, work. Visual dropping frames, but audio is solid. That's so weird. Okay, it's fine now. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, daddies. Okay, it's fine now. What? Bro. I'm just kidding. Good hustle out there. I'm really impressed. You're way better than the last time I launched you off a treadmill. <laughs> yeah, man, you really pushed me to my limit just now. I can't believe I held on. Mm. You know, I just have to say something, okay? You know, I'm sure some of you have watched The Bachelor or those dating shows, and it always feels like they're not really, they're, it feels like they're always having a conversation about having a conversation. You know what I mean? The couple or whoever is like entertaining dating each other is like, this was so great that we got to connect tonight. I'm really feeling like we had a great time tonight. It was so great to to discover more about you and learn about you and really connect on a deeper level. And that's all you hear is people just having a conversation about having a conversation. I feel like that's what we're doing with Craig. Like we're just talking about how he was there to push us to do better and i don't know like where where is the actual conversation you know what i mean it's just 
Not always. I know we've had some, we've done a lot of reminiscing with Craig about our past as roommates and connected on that level. But just in this instance, I feel like we're just talking about like running <laughs> and like how it's, he's been good to push me. This was, I'm really glad we took a run together. I'm really glad that I could be there to run alongside you up this hill. Dot, dot, dot. Johnny Cat is making homemade hummus right now. I think you meant to send that to Ben's chat, not mine. <laughs> but, but thank you. <laughs> Date someone else. He's boring. Guys. I mean, he he's kind of boring. But, like, there's a pro and con to every daddy. That's the point. No, no daddy is perfect. We're not perfect either. Who's ready for hill climbs? Are we going to talk about how we're doing hill climbs now? Blap? What does that mean? Did the baby just throw up? Oh. There's my little cheerleader. Christopher, are you ready? Ugh. <laughs> you bet. Craig takes me to a separate portion of the park where there's a steep hill. Heel. Hill that seems to go up forever. I strain my eyes and see some other joggers at the top. So what do we do now? Mm -hmm. We run up the thing. That looks like a lot. Oh. Christopher, there's two things you need to know about this hill. One, don't stop running until you get to the top. And two, he points nice. to the top of the hill. That's not the top. Keep running up that hill. Keep running up that hill. Na, 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 na. Ugh. Let's do this. Yo, at least we're staying positive. I finally reached the top of the hill after ma waking. I can't read. Once there, I hunch over onto my knees and gasp for air. My lungs are like dagger. Okay, we get it. I feel like we get it. You know, we're tired. <laughs> we're gonna die. Craig is going to murder us. That's actually how this relationship ends, you know? River uh, is potentially throwing up. River, I'm having a moment. Please shut the fuck up before Morty comes in. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Craig looks like he's taking a beating as well. So he oh. is human. Christopher, put your arms on your head and stretch out your elbows. It'll help you breathe better. So now we're doing yoga. Oh. And here. Tosses me a water bottle. I hydrate like my life depends on it. Thanks, dude. Whoa. Phenomenal work. You feel that lightness in your head? That's the runner's high. Oh, that's it? I thought I was, you know, dying. <laughs> hmm. Want to take it slow for a bit? Yes. I would like that. I would like to have a conversation, actually. Like, can... As we're catching our breath, River starts crying. Great. <laughs> What's wrong, sweet pea? Do you want to play with Arnold? No, I don't want to fucking run anymore, Dad. <laughs> like, this baby is like, take me home. Take me home. Put me in a stroller. Where is my cozy bed? Treat me like Menchie. Nice. Oh, boy. Man down. I think we lost Arnold. River keeps wailing. I wonder why. I wonder why this baby is screaming. <laughs> Maybe we should take the baby home. Nice. I've abandoned my child's toy. It fell out because of the high speeds. We gotta find him, dude. This, Yo, this was our fault. Craig, this was your fault. It should be simple, right? We just gotta retrace our steps. We just gotta run all over again. Craig and I jog down the path, searching for the stuffed capybara. The capybara. It's a guinea pig, I saw someone say. Guinea pigs are so cute. I never had one, but I love them. And hamsters, they're so cute. <laughs> we get to the place where River might have dropped it, but it's still nowhere to be found. I guess we gotta we gotta get a new one. Hmm. Looks like we've got a mystery on our hands. We have to get to the bottom of this. What a waste of time. <laughs> like what? <where? laughs> I suspect foul play. Looks like this is a prime case for world-renowned detective logical. <laughs> Simply detective logical. Where's the hollow taco detectives? You guys are gonna find the the baby's toy, okay? The baby lost its toy because we went running with this fit daddy. Okay, hollow taco detectives, where are you? We need your help. It's not for what you want. 
but we need your help. <clears throat> if you find the 40 pound baby's toy, you find Hollow Taco Clue. She ate it? Maybe. Babies are not that smart. Babies might eat the toy. Just like you have to be careful. You know, because babies might eat nail polish. If you put it in front of them, don't give a baby nail polish. <laughs> oh. Dude, it's time for a bro adventure. A bro venture? Didn't we just have an adventure? Oh. The dingo ate your baby. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe the baby ate the dingo. Maybe. This 40 pound baby looks like it eats. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> we high five and decide to jog back to the park to see if we can find any leads. Like I'm I'm bored of this date and I was very interested in running. So it looks like there's a couple more places to check out. Sounds good. Hey. Wait, who's good cop, who's bad cop? What are we interrogating? Other babies? I think with your stature and overall resilience, you would make an intimidating bad cop. But on the other hand, you do have an adorable baby strapped to your chest. So that softens the edges a bit. Mm. All valid points. I think you would make a great... Okay, well now we're complimenting each other. A great good cop because of your congenial attitude and willingness to try new things. <laughs> it's, it's like the most boring compliment you could give about someone. I love your willingness to try new things. <laughs> but then again, I've seen how you get when there are too many commercial breaks during a show... So you have the potential to be a scary bad cop. Too many commercials. What does that mean? We're impatient? I don't want to have to watch Meat Hell in three minute segments with five minutes of commercials in between. And they're loud. The commercials are too loud. I just want to watch my shows in peace without people yelling at me to buy wiper fluid and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, we're impatient. Dot, dot, dot. What a wonderful conversation. 10 out of 10 date. Hey. Case in point. Let's play a moment. Why don't we just... Just do it. Just look for the fucking toy. Mm -hmm. Smart. Mm -hmm. So, where to? Protect it. Playground, field, or woods? Which one results in meaningful conversation? <laughs> like... Guys, we cannot end like this. Please, we need to recover. Which one? Do we have fun if we go to the playground? Is this how daddies flirt? I don't understand. The woods? We go to the woods? If we go to the woods, maybe something dramatic will happen. Maybe it'll be like Blair Witch Project. Okay, let's try that. We'll go to the woods. We go to the woods to witness a murder. <gasps> Looks like Robert's here all by himself. Okay, finally. Something interesting. Interrogate Robert. Maybe Robert saw something. Or maybe he's like smoking a joint in the woods. <laughs> we walk over to Robert's bench. Hey, Rob. <clears throat> Don't call me that. What? What? Okay. Hi, Robert. <clears throat> Don't call me that either. What? Is this also flirting? <laughs> um, okay. Hey, buddy. Oh. What are you up to? Remember, Robert likes Craig. Hey. Thinking. This is my thinking bench. Hmm? I have to get a solid two. Oh, I forgot the voice. Guys, I don't think I can keep up the Robert voice, but I'll do it just a little bit. I have to get a solid two to three hours of brooding in per day, filling quotas before I save Gotham City. Hmm. Have you by any chance seen a small stuffed capybara around? <laughs> Fuck your capybara! A capybara is... It's a large rodent native to South America. I know, you idiot! <laughs> So, have you seen one? Hey. A stuffed one, not a real one. 
Just to clarify, that would be real. Weird. Hmm. Be, be bad. I'm gonna be bad. All right, Robert, we've been nice. Help us out or I'm gonna go off and beat the shit out of you. <laughs> learn, learn to fight and then come back here to kick your ass. Oh, I think he's gonna respond well to that. You, learning how to fight, please. <laughs> well, fine, if you don't tell us what we wanna hear, I'm gonna spoil the season finale of Long Haul Paranoia Ice Road Ghost Juggers. Uh -huh. You're bluffing. My buddy here doesn't play by the rules. Christopher will do it. Caleb and Flint crash into a haunted... What? Stop it! You're a monster! I... Robert sighs. I haven't seen any goddamn capybara, okay? I could give a fuck about your 40-pound baby's toys! <laughs> Damn. We return to the woods. That went absolutely nowhere. I thought there was gonna be like some, some daddy drama, you know, with the love triangle. Um, but nope, it was just Robert in the woods, just chilling. Move to another, okay, look for clues. What are we gonna find? Craig and I search the woods, hoping to find anything. There's a couple cigarettes and empty beer cans. That's Robert. <laughs> This is probably the hot spot for edgy teens to hang out at night and say swears and stuff. Say swears? What? But it doesn't look like there's any recent activity that might- This is like so boring. I don't give a shit about this baby's toy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do not give a shit. This might be a dead end, partner bro. We return to the woods. What, what, why was that an option? To just like come back here in a loop? Where to now, bro? I don't fucking know. The playground. We make our way to a small playground at the edge of the park. A couple of kids play on the jungle gym while parents watch on the nearby benches. Over on one of the benches, I spot a familiar face. Joseph. Oh, there's a Joseph here. Let's see what Joseph's up to. We jog over to Joseph, who seems to be engrossed in his book. It's probably a book on, like, how to be an entrepreneur. How to, like, use use your potential kind of book. You know, I feel like he, he reads a lot of books on how to be a leader. <laughs> he just looks like that type. Hmm. Joseph. Uh. Joseph nearly drops his book. <laughs> hey, guys. Didn't think I'd see you two out here. Well, like outside. We don't we don't go outside. Christopher, are you exercising? Sure am. You know me. I just love to run and be healthy. That's kind of my whole thing. We're lying. What are you reading? <laughs> oh, just a book on knots and rope tying. That is a lie. Like that's definitely a lie, right? Like he's just pretending. He has a cover on top of the book. So we don't see what it's actually about. For boats. Boat ropes. What? Right. Hmm. See? He's lying. What's he reading? Craig, still concerned about his 40-pound baby's toy. Hmm. What's a capybara? Oh. It's a large rodent. Okay, we know. We know what it is. Yeah. Um, Joseph, haven't seen that around. I'll tell the kids to keep an eye. The kids will not care. Your kids are here? Hey. Joseph looks around. Oh. They were here a second ago. Must have gone exploring around the park. Do you know where they could have run off to? No, I don't pay attention to my kids. Oh. <laughs> They're kids. They get into mischief sometimes, but they always come back just like a frisbee. That sounds a little suspect. Mischief, you say? That's a criminal offense. Oh, Kirk Douglas. I, uh, wait, am I being interrogated? No, yes. <laughs> Just doing our due diligence, Joseph. Huh. Arnold means a lot to River here. I mean, you're more than welcome to ask Christian and Christy. 
I imagine they have their ears on the ground. Blah, blah, blah. They might be somewhere around the woods. Thanks, Joseph. We'll let you get back to your rope book. <laughs> Boat ropes. Yo, I want to know what he's actually reading. That's more interesting. We head back to the playground. Uh, look for clues, I guess. Craig and I, two grown adults, walk onto the playground and begin examining it meticulously for clues. There's no forensic evidence here. We gotta call in CSI. <laughs> no stray capybara hairs, at least. After searching fruitlessly for some time, we look up. All the parents are staring at us. We smile and wave as we awkwardly slink away. We head back to the playground. Let's move. Where should we go next? I don't understand. Like, I feel like we're back at the beginning with the options, right? This is all amounting to nothing. Go to the field? Is that where the this fucking toy is? <laughs> I bet you the toy's like at his house. Interrogate the baby. Wait, let me try this. It's always the culprit you least expect. Yes. I get eye to eye with the 40 pound baby who looks like she's on the verge of tears. Whoa. Bad cop. <laughs> Where's Arnold? <laughs> River starts crying. <laughs> Yo, we pissed out the baby. River starts crying uncontrollably. Whoops. Now you've done it. <laughs> River screeching is louder than ever. I'm exhausted. Craig is. Let's just go the fuck home. You know what I'm saying? Like, just everybody go home. Oh my god! <laughs> this date is not going well. This is what would happen in real life if I went on a date with the baby. I mean, like, not with the baby, but like, if a baby was present at a date that I was on, this is what would happen. The baby would just, like, not be pleased. I would not be pleased. <laughs> I would think the baby weighs 40 pounds. Ah, <laughs> uh, buddy, I got a rain check on brunch. I need to get... Finally, you are making the responsible decision of taking your baby home. <laughs> All right, good luck, bro. Thanks. Yo. Why am I relieved that we're home? Hold on. I got to pee. You guys hang out with Menchi for a second. I'm back. You wish you were Menchi? Frida says, I wish I was Menchi. Yo, same. Honestly, though. <laughs> okay. I head back to the cul-de-sac alone. God, I'm ready for a shower, a gal- Yo, we're drinking water now, that's good. Hmm, I bet Amanda's still asleep. Huh. I crack open her door to find her still in bed, sleepily scrolling through her phone. She's on TikTok. Morning. Afternoon, actually. Mm. Right. How was brunch? Well... <laughs> I ran 800 million miles and we lost a baby's toy. Mm -hmm. And then I made a baby cry. <laughs> 
to brunch. We didn't make it to brunch. Somehow, we lost River's toy on our run. A capybara is... Dad, don't patronize me about giant rodents. I know. Sorry. Anyways, I made a baby cry. <laughs> we figured out that Joseph's creepy twins had something to do with it, but we never got to the bottom of it. So the run went well, though? I was worried about your endurance. Yeah, it was rough at first, but it ended up being a piece of cake. I actually feel pretty... My legs give out. <laughs> I find myself on the floor of the hallway. Actually, are we just joking? I'm gonna hang out here for a while. You take your time getting up. Oh god. <laughs> Date complete. Guys, we got a C. Haven't gotten a C since high school. <laughs> Yo, that did not go so well. Yeah. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Actually, the last time I remember getting a C, if anyone cares, was in first year psychology. I had mono, like mono as in mononucleosis. And it lasted three months, and I was in denial about being sick because I didn't want to leave residence because I had moved into residence when I was 17. Um, so I did so bad in first year psych, and I got a C, and it, like, haunted me for the next few years of my life. So I redid first year psychology when I was in, I don't know, like, fourth year or something in my undergrad degree just so I could replace it with an A+. <laughs> I mean, it's easy to get an A when you're in fourth year, but um, like for a first year class. But I got a C in first year psychology originally because I had mono for three months and uh, didn't want to cancel the class. Like I just accepted the grade because I was like, fuck. I didn't want to defer and have to redo it, but I redid it like four years later. There you go. There you go. Exposed. I read the classes that I did poorly in, yeah. I kind of like that about university, though, that they let you do that. So you could actually replace it on your transcript if you just, like, had a terrible semester. I know it costs money to do it twice. I get that. But um, the fact that it's even an option that's available, that you can replace it, and it, your transcript won't hold, you, hold that against you, I like that. I like that that's an option rather than getting stuck with something that you're like, fuck, fuck my life. You did that? Yeah, there's some people who did that. Yeah, it's smart. The irony that just occurred, you said mononucleosis just as I finished writing the transmission and symptoms about it for my study guide. Okay, well, you know, little bear, all about mononucleosis. I knew nothing. I just had it and didn't want to admit that I had it because I wanted to have fun in university when I was 17. <laughs> okay, let's do a poll. On which daddy I should date next if they're if the daddies come up. Let's see what this scene is. It's been a long day. I'm just about ready to pack it in. After a few bites of ice cream from the freezer, I turn off all the lights and walk down the hall. I wonder if Amanda's still awake. That kid needs some sleep. If they pass her room, I hear her on TikTok. She is watching uh, yogurt lid spills from Hollow Taco. Oh, is she crying? I knock gently on the door. Hey, Manda? The crying immediately stops. Not right now. Her voice sounds strained. She sniffles. Does she have COVID? I need to make sure she's okay. I open the door. <laughs> oh, why is she sad? Is it about her university? Off topic, but as important as university, thoughts on the latest season of Temptation Island. There's there's a latest season of Temptation Island. Temptation Island? Is that the... Is that the show? Temptation Island is what it was called when I was growing up. But now it's called something else, right? Or maybe I'm confused. I don't know. Ben, have we watched that? Do we need to watch that? We've watched like the other, the more modern versions like uh, Too Hot to Handle or Love is Blind or is it Paradise Island? I can't remember. They all fucking sound the same, man. Love Island. Love Island. We wa They brought it back? Okay, we got to watch. <laughs> I love TV trash. <laughs> Don't open the door on a teenager. You never know what you'll see. Oh, God. 
did something. Okay, well, we need to know if the if Amanda wants to tell us. No, nothing happened. Go away. Okay, well, if she doesn't want to tell us, then we leave her alone. But we should probably get TikTok on our phone just so we can see if, like, she's responding to something publicly, if there's something in her comments, you know, so we can get the information without annoying her. <laughs> she immediately starts crying again. Well, just tell us. Wow, I have no idea why she's so upset. She seemed totally normal. Teenagers. <laughs> I feel awful leaving her cry leaving her to cry. But I would have made her more upset. Aw. I just want her to be happy and safe. Well, she'll tell us if she wants to tell us. I have a hard time falling asleep. But when I finally do, I'm still thinking about a man. Oh, we're a good dad. Mm. After a long night of very little sleep, I roll out of bed and make some tea. I make some tea. I feel like if I was a parent, I'd be like, chill. I'd be like, you do whatever you want. You tell me if you want. Don't if you want. Whatever. You fuck up your life. That's your problem. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hmm. <laughs> about 10 minutes before she's supposed to leave amanda comes out of her room and makes a beeline for the freezer morning amanda morning maybe now she'll tell us because we give her space you know like you gotta give you gotta give space she drops a frozen waffle into the toaster and slams the freezer door she's mad she mad at us <gasps> maybe she didn't like something we did with the daddies so anything big going on in school today? We're making small talk. Uh, no. Okay. Do you need a ride to school? No. Want some coffee? No, I want tea. Amanda pulls the toaster lever up and takes her freezer burn waffle out before it's finished cooking. Uh-oh. I have to go. Yo, why is she mad at us? What did we do? Okay, if Amanda's clearly mad at us, then we interrogate. <laughs> I sit back at the kitchen table and look at a picture of Amanda and I hang on the wall. Aw, we're sad. What's going on? It must be about her school, right? Because last episode, we thought that uh, she did get accepted to the school she wanted, but she knew it would cost a lot, so she felt bad. But we said, don't worry about it. Even though we have no idea if we have money or a job, <laughs> there's none of that in the storyline. <laughs> but we said we'd take care of it. As I put the bike away, she just stood in the middle of the street and screamed. Oh, wait, we're talking about when, we, when she was a kid. <laughs> it's like right now. <laughs> After giving it a bit of thought, I decide that if I force her to talk about it, I'm only going to make things worse. Yes. But I have an idea. I start rummaging. Oh, we're going to bake her something. Instead of heading for the kitchen, she makes a beeline to her room. She's clearly trying to avoid me. Hey, pumpkin. What? Can you come here for a sec? There's a moment of silence. What did Ben say? Maybe she heard you yelled at a baby. Why would why would Amanda care? <laughs> yeah. I wanted to say sorry about last night. What did we do? Is it because we just weren't hanging out with her? Dot, dot, dot. I'm just worried about you, kiddo. I get scared when I know something's wrong. Dad, I... Just say it. Just fucking say it. <laughs> Whatever it is, you know that we're here. Oh. Honey, you know I'm bad with words. I pull a cake out of the refrigerator and place it on the table. Hopefully the frosting has set by now. Ta-da. Dad. Sorry you're sad, but I support you 100%. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Just 
This is beautiful. That's cute. It's strawberry. See, she likes it. Amanda gives us a hug. Okay, so what's the problem? Now, this is where you tell us. So, it's really stupid. What is? This whole thing. I know I've been weird lately and there's just... I don't even know. Just tell me. I hate this. This is like when a YouTuber says they have something to tell you and then they never fucking tell you. You know what I'm saying? They're just like, guys, I have something to tell you. I've been doing, there's been something going on for three years and I've been waiting for this moment to tell you. It's taken me a lot of time and thinking about telling you this. And I just really wanted to say before I tell you this, <laughs> I'm listening. Do you want me to take, oh. just tell us we are here. I guess I should start from the top. So you know how Emma R is going to fancy art school in California. Yeah. Emma R, the one who puked in dead goth and beyond, the best friend, the other one. I don't remember. I didn't pay attention to her friend's names. <laughs> Menchi. Yeah, Menchi Sleepy. Um. All right. Okay, we remembered. Good guess. Good guess. I wish there were multiple choices in real life. Hmm. Anyways, ever since she got the acceptance letter, I've been feeling like she's drifting away. And she's been spending a lot more time with Grace and Emma P. I just thought it was all in my head for a while, but then I found out from Rosie M. that both the Emmas, Grace and Noah, all went to a party at Mackenzie F's on the same night, and they all told me they were busy studying for the Calc AB final. They lied. <laughs> Yikes. <sighs> so, another important piece of information is, uh, God, this is embarrassing. I, uh, have a crush on Noah, and that's a thing. Why is that embarrassing? Whoa, I had no idea. I definitely didn't know that. Wait, who's Noah? Do we know Noah? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know a Noah. <laughs> Come on, Christopher. Make that joke. So are you. I learned from the worst. Aww. Anyway, so the only person I told about the crush was Emma R. <gasps> And Emma R stole Noah and promised not to tell anyone. I didn't confront them about the party thing because I didn't want to start drama. So I just kept quiet and kept going about my business. Amanda sighs. And then one day I invite everyone to get out nachos at the mall. And then blah, blah, not texting me back. Then they didn't text me back immediately. <laughs> then they all say they're busy. So I tell them, never mind. I'll just eat nachos at home. But we were out of chips and I really wanted nachos. Ugh. So I go to the mall anyways, I get to the food court, and who do I see there but Grace, Emma P, Emma R, and Noah all hanging out and eating nachos without me. What? <laughs> it gets better. I'm standing by the escalators watching them, and I realize that Noah has his arm around Emma R. But then they kissed. <laughs> Dad, they kissed. No. <laughs> yes. So I storm over there, and I'm like, hey. You're not allowed to kiss. <laughs> and Grace drops a nacho on her shirt because of course she does. And Emma R just glares at me. Grace, Grace. Nothing is coming up. I don't know who that is. Grace is... The... Boring one? Well, yeah, but that's not the important part. Grace is the one that nobody really likes. Or I guess that's me now. Ugh, this is just like flashbacks to camp, you know? When people are young enough to decide who they don't like in their friend group, but like they're in their friend group for a reason, and then they just rotate between who they don't like. I don't know. It just feels like such a young person thing. I feel like all of us have an experience with this. <laughs> yeah, it kind of sucks. Humans suck, especially younger humans. Just saying. <laughs> But anyways, nobody will say anything. And I'm just like, you guys suck. <laughs> Which I realize is not the most eloquent thing to say. But I was very angry and really embarrassed. And I just wanted to get out of there. Yeah. Could turn that into an am I the asshole situation. And uh, the result might be everyone sucks. Emotional damage. <laughs> so I left without nachos. Without the fucking nachos. Yeah, which only further contributed to this shitty day and immediately drafted a super long text to the group chat asking them why they've been so weird. What'd they say? 
And I wrote another one to MR asking how long the Noah thing's been going on. I would recommend in this situation to talk to the people individually in person. Mm -hmm. I think that's how you're going to get the most real uh, connection and make sure there's no misunderstanding because I think texting these kinds of emotions and trying to like see someone's perspective at this age through text message is not going to go well. <laughs> Something is going to be misunderstood or misunder misinterpreted via tone or whatever in a text message. Uh, I have no idea what's happening. No, but I'll, I'll write, what did Emma R say? Okay, get a load of this. Emma R says, let me just read it to you. Ugh, never, just stop texting teenagers. <laughs> teenagers, stop texting your feelings challenge. Level 100 difficulty. Can you believe that? What, what? What did she text? I cannot believe that because I, I did not read it. <laughs> I care so much about Amanda's social life and mental well-being, but man, I do not understand what she's talking about. <laughs> this is all beyond me, but I'm trying my hardest to be Aww. supportive. They were dating in secret for like months, probably because they didn't want to hurt your feelings, right? Is that what happened? I guess Emma and Noah like each other, but they knew that Amanda liked Noah, so they kept it a secret because they thought that would be easier than just being honest because they didn't want to hurt her feelings and complicate everything. I don't know. Just I'm just guessing. So I told her she's being a terrible friend. She's like, well, if you think I'm so terrible, just stop being my friend. And I was like, okay, genius. <laughs> and then she left me on red. Left on red? By Hala Taco? That's a great shade. That would totally work with your outfit. <laughs> Wait, left me on red? What's that? It's a nail polish by Hala Taco. They, their crumbs are wonderful coverage. The, the coverage on the red especially is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, like, she saw my message and didn't reply, and I know because there are read receipts. I don't know what read receipts are, but I'm just going to nod and pretend I understand. Gotcha. So while all this is happening, I'm talking to Emma P about how mad I am because she's at least she's being kind of responsible, and I'm venting to her about how pissed I am and everyone and stuff. And then I don't know where Noah texts me. And is like, how could you say that about me? And I'm like, say what about you, capitals? And he tells me that Emma P sent screenshots of everything I told her to the group that I got kicked out of. Wait, what did we say? All right, I think you lost me at screenshots. Come on. We don't know what a screenshot is, but that definitely sounds bad. Well, what did we say? See, this is, here's another lesson, teenagers, okay? Don't text out all your emotions because someone's going to screenshot them and send them to the person you didn't intend them for. And then you're going to have to be like, fuck. <laughs> There's so much more. But honestly, it's all just really stupid teenager stuff. <laughs> the bottom line is that everyone dropped me. Half my gra grade hates me. And now I have no friends. You know what? It's a good thing we're moving away to university. Amanda, I'm so sorry. But you're about to start a fresh life. The Come on, say the positive. I almost expected it from everybody else, but MR has been there since dad died. Oh, and I can't believe she would just stab me in the back. Is it stabbing in the back? Like, I know we're supposed to be empathetic towards Amanda's position, but maybe these other two individuals just, like, had always liked each other. And, like, what, what do you do in that situation? Can they never date because Amanda also likes it? Likes Noah? I don't know. Who knows? I don't fucking... Is there rules? I don't know. I'm not even that mad she's dating Noah. I'm just upset that she lied to me about it for so long. Probably because they thought you'd be so mad and, like, say you didn't want to be friends. I know lying's also bad, but when you're young, you don't really think about future consequences. You think about immediate consequences more. Amanda stabs at the remnants of her cake. Okay, I take it back. I'm kind of mad she's dating Noah. Don't worry. You're going to go to college. There's going to be so many other Noahs. Like, what did I do wrong? Why did everyone suddenly decide I'm not cool anymore? Because they live in a tiny circle of people. And once you step outside of that tiny circle of high school people, you will find so many new circles. The grass is greener. The horizons are wider. You know what I'm saying? Why wasn't I enough? I don't understand. 
Yo, this is such like teenager shit. <laughs> I feel so old. Oh, <laughs> like I get it. But also, this is such a narrow perspective. And I feel like that's what the dad in this situation's role is, is to teach the kid to broaden the perspective, to see that there is more beyond this narrow scope circle of friends. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the lesson here. And as mad as I am at everybody, like, I miss them, dad. Yeah. But if they're not good friends, then they're not good friends. Oh, no. What could I possibly say to her? Everything I just said. Come on, Christopher. Anyways, that's it. That's the whole sordid tale. Thanks for listening. Tune in next week for more hot gossip. Wow. That's all we got? It sucks. I've been in Amanda's shoes before. Yeah, I feel like everyone has been in Amanda's shoes or Emma P shoes or Noah's shoes. Like, when, when you are a teenager, you don't necessarily realize that when you like someone, they may not like you back. They have every right to not like you back. But it's like, you just feel like your entire soul is crushed because they like someone else. But it's like, dude, there's so many people. And you have to realize that just because your crush doesn't like you back doesn't mean you're inadequate right? There's someone else out there. But this soul crushing like my life is over <laughs> is um, yeah, definitely something that I think you grow to learn doesn't have as much of an impact when you realize that there's more options and opportunity in life out there beyond just a relationship. Like I'm not even saying find another person. I'm just saying like there's so much more to life than just like does my crush like me back? You know what I mean? But then I also understand that when you're young, it does seem like that is your entire world because it's who you go to school with and you don't see anything else. The good news is Amanda's going off to school soon. Mm -hmm. I know it's pretty dumb. She has some self-insight. We're not saying it's dumb. I don't mean it's dumb. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> no, it's, not, it's not dumb. It's not dumb in her circumstance. But let's just show. Come on, dad. Give her some advice. Amanda, your feelings are valid. Don't be mad at yourself for having feelings. And now tell her about the future, I guess. Unless you've secretly been a robot. Okay, now we're just trying to be funny. Dad, if I was a robot, I would have transformed into a monster truck a long time ago. But seriously, I know you probably don't want advice, but I feel like it's my duty as a dad to bestow, to bestow upon you a few nuggets of fatherly wisdom. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see how we do. Not all friendships last forever. Real friends don't do that. I mean, that's true. High school sucks. Also, high school sucks. But I feel like high schoolers don't want to hear this. So I would say the second option. When you get older, you start realizing the sort of people you want to associate yourself with. True. True. Do you really want to surround yourself with people who would do something like this to their friend? Yeah. It took me a long time to figure that out myself. And now I have eight daddies. <laughs> if the other person isn't putting the effort in to show you who they are, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's not worth it. Ultimately, I think this says way more about their character than it does about yours. Because you're amazing. But, like, we're biased. I'll keep that in mind. I look down at the table. Did we just eat that whole cake? Yes, we just did. Welp, good talk. Amanda gets up to go to her room. She turns around. Hey, Pops? Yes. Thank you. You are always welcome. Love you, Amanda. I love you too, Dad. I love you too. Aww. That's good. I feel like we could have given a little bit more advice about forward-looking advice. But not bad. Okay. Is that a package from Amazon? From Dad Dad Amazon? Oh my god, it is Dad Amazon! <laughs> I did not know that. Hi, this is Steven from Dad Amazon. I'm out front with your delivery. Is this real? Oh, okay, I'll be right down. Wait. I need to put on pants. Who's, who's Dad Amazon? Is this like, you know, one of those services? I can't find my pants. Why are we saying this? What? 
Are you cool with my nakedness? I can come back tomorrow. Okay, not cool. Not cool. No, 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 wait. Put on pants. I got a package. I wonder what it is. Oh, I bet it's that package of socks that I ordered. Oh my god, are we getting socks? Yes. I open up the box and start pulling the packing peanuts out. Okay, that's definitely not socks. It's butterflies? Oh boy, I almost don't even want to know what Amanda was planning on. What? Butterflies? <gasps> like the, 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 the other daddy. Like Damien. Are you sacrificing them? What? You ordered butterflies? You can order dead butterflies online? Okay, what? What's going on? <laughs> I take a look at the box again. This is addressed to Damien's house, see? Bring the box to Damien or give the box to Amanda. I mean, I don't think we can open someone else's mail. But wait, I was gonna do a poll. How do I go to the poll? Or I mean, how do I go back to the dad screen? What's that? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, Chad is saying Damien. Bring it to Damien. Okay, we'll just do Damien. Mr. Logical. I love it when they call me Mr. Logical. To what do I owe the pleasure? Whoa. How did you know I was about to knock? Uh, I have a Nest security camera. I can see you coming at the door. It's called Technology Years. Oh, okay. Anyways, I think this got delivered to my house by mistake. <laughs> Oh, eggplant emojis. I hand him the box and his face lights up. Oh, what a wonderful surprise. I was just about to send a strongly worded letter to the courier service about this. Many thanks. Oh my God, I feel like he would write a novel to USPS. <laughs> that would not be read by customer service. I try not to pry, but what are you going to do with those butterflies? We know what he's going to do. He uh, hangs them up, right? Would you like to see? We already saw. Alarm bells ring in my head. This is how you die, Christopher Logical. Next thing you know, we're going to be dead being shipped in a box on Dadmazon. Mm -hmm. You guys want to buy a Christopher? It's coming to Dadmazon soon. Dadmazon Prime. Sure. Damien leads me into his study. Sorry, guys. I was gonna do a poll, but like somehow I'm in. I'm in. I'm in his house with a bunch of dead butterflies. Oh wow! Why are we acting surprised? We've been here before. What's going on? Oh. I'm quite proud of my little collection. That's what I say about my nail polish. You do all this yourself? <laughs> Of course, I find it rather relaxing. How do you? Uh -huh. It's simple. Here, let me show you. Mm. These aren't quite ready yet. They need to be rehydrated overnight so they're easier to work with. Oh, that's fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> Damien takes his seat at his desk. He picks up a little triangular paper package and snips off the edges he pulls out an all black butterfly and shows it to me <laughs> i'm rather excited about this one it's a turquoise swallowtail he gently opens the wings spreading the butterfly on the table the back of the wings are a gorgeous iridescent green color it looks like celestial lights <laughs> oh and the pigment the pigment on this is me talking about nail polish the pigment on this one is so nice too anyways pinning a butterfly is actually very simple it just requires a delicate touch first i put a pin through the thorax oh. oh we love stabbing through the throats damien slides a pin through the middle of the butterfly and places the butterfly on a piece of styrofoam he carefully arranges the antennae 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 with forceps and begins placing paper on more pins. He does this so effortlessly, it's almost hypnotic. Uh. I have a frame here that I think this one will look quite pretty in. But I'll need to let it sit for a couple days until it's ready. That's what I say when I spill nail polish 
on a yogurt lid. And then what? I remove all the pins and put it on display with the others. <laughs> and then I put them in my peely bag. <laughs> I take a closer look at Damien's collection. One with bright blue wings keeps drawing my eye. This one's so pretty. Damien takes it off oh. the wall. Ah, yes. That's a blue more for wireless mode. One of my favorites, too. He hands the small frame to me. Oh. Here, I think this would look lovely in your home. Have you been to our house? I don't think he's been to our house. He does not know what a shitty condition. <laughs> we do not have nice decorations in our house. Oh, I couldn't take this. In other words, that'd be weird. I insist. Believe me, I have more than enough. Can't you see? Look at look at this. I collect all the dead. Thank you. Hmm. If you ever have an interest in pinning some insects yourself, you know where to find me. <laughs> uh -huh, I think I'll leave that up to you. I feel like I'd probably break them in half with my butterfingers. <laughs> Nonsense. You have beautiful, steady hands. You would make a fine taxidermist. Do you want to taxidermy together? <laughs> Am I blushing? Damien walks into the door and gives me a warm smile as I leave. Do take care of yourself, Christopher. Thank you for allowing me to share my odd little hobby with you. Welcome. Okay, got now we're doing a poll. Alright, poll. Menchie is one of the options. Guys, I said we were going to conclude. How? It's already 7 where I am. It's been 2 hours. I don't know how to conclude. Which daddy? Yo, man, she's ears twitching. She's dreaming about daddies. Um. Who should I put in the poll? Here. I'm listening. I'm watching you guys. Who should I put? I can't put all of them. I can only put four. Robert Hugo. We haven't done like any Hugo. Hugo Boss. Joseph. Well, Bible thumping. We could put Joseph. I feel like we've seen a lot of Damien and Craig, so I'm trying not to put them. I'm like really not interested in Brian because he kind of just seems like a dick. <laughs> He's always like, <laughs> co like competitive with his kids. I was not impressed. Okay, here. All right, chat. Vote in the poll. You can vote on your iPhone, Android devices. You know the deal. On the side of the live chat. I have messages from Craig. Yo, Craig cannot stop talking to us. I love food, especially food that's free. Thank you. What a great conversation. Again, another wonderful conversation with Craig. Would air on The Bachelor. <clears throat> Alright, chat, keep voting. Ooh, it's close between Matt and Hugo. Joseph is very low. And then we've got Robert. I'll give it another little bit. It's a couple hundred votes, but there's over a thousand of you here. Uh -huh. Please vote. Vote down below. Or to the side, wherever you are. The poll isn't coming up for me. You might have to refresh. Um, and then it turns into a blue bar. If you're on mobile, it's like below. Or no. If you're on mobile, it should be at the top of the live chat. If you want to finish the game and if you're on um, desktop, game. it'll be on the right-hand side. If you want to finish the game soon, you need to choose a daddy you've already dated. Oh, thanks for the tip, Kelly. Yeah, fuck. Fuck, I did not think this would take that long. We fucked up. We fucked up. Mm, looks like some people had to refresh to get the poll. Yeah, okay. Refresh. Refresh. So fresh and exciting. Mm. 
Good thing polyamory is not an option or this game would never end. Yo, that'd be funny though. Like if you could do that. Hugo's date is so cute. Okay. Tell that to the voters. Just do another week of this? We could. But next week on Wednesday, I was thinking of doing like a mod night and playing games with some of the Discord and stream mods. You guys would would be able to watch. Um, and, you know, have fun in the chat because the mods will be busy playing games. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but if we had to, we could conclude Dream Daddy the week after. Don't finish before meeting all the daddies. Dude, we're going to be here for eight years if I go through all the dates. Maybe, like, daddies just are not for me. <laughs> Dating daddies is exhausting, is what I have learned. So is conversation. Conversation is exhausting, you know? The writing in this game wouldn't be so predictable that they're just lying to each other, in my opinion. They're lying to each other? Yeah, kind of. Which one do you like, Christine? I mean, I thought I liked Craig, but then, like, we we're just so... He's just so boring. Like, like I don't, I don't mind the running thing. I think that's fine. But, like, all we did was talk about our experience of running. <laughs> you chose me? Did I? When? <laughs> dream ban dream mommy I don't think that's a game dream mommy is Mary there's only one mommy we need to pick someone smarter who's smarter is he, I think Hugo is supposed to be like this the smart one because he's the teacher right all right let's let's check out the poll Okay, Matt has one at 36%, and then Hugo, and then Robert. Oh, it switched to 37. Okay, I think we're going to end it there and go with Matt, who is leading. Matt is, like, the hipster option. Avid music enthusiast, passionate coffee drinker. You can find me most days selling bean juice over at the Coffee Spoon. Uh, perfect Friday night is cold brew setup. One drip. He likes coffee, though. This is a problem. <laughs> If you had one thing to take with you on a desert island, what would it be? Fine tunes to pass the days away. What are your turn-ons? Multi-instrumentalism. What does that mean? You can play m multiple instruments? What did you want to be when you grew up? A barista. <laughs> What's your favorite movie genre? Shit with subtitles. What's your ideal date? We go to animal shelter. Oh, and consider adopting a cat. Okay, we like that, Menji. Why do you never, never leave home without headphones? Spend a lot of time thinking about where did writing commas into song titles come from and where did it go? Did we just all agree that that's a bad idea? Deep thoughts from Matt. Let's text him. I navigate to Matt's dad book and type out a message. Hey man, great getting to see you at the BBQ. We should definitely hang soon. You free later? A minute or two later, I hear a ding and see Matt's response. Hey dude, I'd be so down for that. I'm actually catching a show tonight at the Sound Garden. Wanna come out? Leave the house? It's a concert venue, but also a band that a lot of people listen to back when it was cool to have soul patches. Do we go to a concert or is there COVID? <laughs> pop is playing tonight. Cool little indie pump, pop punk rock band out of Canada. Interesting. I think for a second. Wait, when was the last time I went to a concert? I mentally backtracked decades through memories of denim jean jackets and moral panic over teenagers turning to the occult. Oh god, I had a mullet back then. I thought it was cool. How did anyone survive the 80s? Okay, I haven't been to a concert in a long time. What do people even do at concerts? Do they hold lighters? No, they hold their phones. They just film. 
Dad, what are you doing? I look over and see Amanda at the door, just getting home from okay. school. Anyways, uh -huh. what's up? Amanda, how do I be cool? <laughs> Me to chat. How do I be cool? Is there a trick? Is there a hack to it? What do I do? Do I make TikTok? Do I wear Balenciaga? Do I look like Kylie Jenner? How do I be cool? <laughs> Just add a hollow taco? That's a, that's a great answer. Wear a hoodie. Add a hollow taco. <laughs> Balmenciaga. That's menchi. Take a bath in ice? How about tea? We could do that. Hmm. Let me put on a pot of coffee first. This is going to be a long night. <laughs> no, seriously. Matt invited me to a concert. I don't been, I don't think I've been to one since you were born. Yeah, you have. You took me to one when I was 12, remember? No, it was the Backstreet Boys. I do not remember. <laughs> I'm suddenly overwhelmed by the memory of a sea of screaming preteens. Oh. I tried to forget. The one where I had to camp out with you in line so you'd get a good spot. Okay, this is just like us going over. Good times with our daughter. Yes, we understand the reminiscing over we were a doubting father you know we took her to concerts and whatever hmm. anyways you should be all set for the concert if you remember that just bring a big glittery sign and cry a lot and you'll fit right in <laughs> well it's a smaller place uh, i think matt mentioned that they're a punk band question mark hmm. what is punk Like DIY gutter punk, thrash, straight edge. Come on, Dad. I don't. I don't know what any of those are. <laughs> are they post punk, proto punk, C punk, Jeremy punk? Oh, is she trolling us? What's Jeremy punk? Yes. Yeah, she's trolling. Yeah, she's trolling us. Uh. They're not positive hardcore, are they? He said that they're Canadian punk. What's Canadian punk? <laughs> oh yeah, you'll be fine. Just the idea of Canadian punk. It's just really polite. That's all it is. You know, like, it's trying hard to be obnoxious and, like, rebellious, but it's actually ultimately really nice. <laughs> I don't see a friendship and politeness as core tenets of the punk scene. Mm. Well, punk is kind of a big genre that might not be as dangerous as you think it is, Dad. Open your horizons, Dad. Just like Amanda should about relationships. We're, we're going to an Avril Lavigne concert. Huh. Huh. It's not like you're going to jump into huh. the mosh pit or anything. Maybe we are. And if a strange dude in a in a set your goals hoodie offers to buy you merch don't accept it and definitely don't go out on three awful dates with him afterward where he takes you to a nice restaurant and then forgets his wallet literally three times in a row wait is she calling us out did we do this what never mind just have a blast i show up to the coffee spoon at eight and what i hope is concert appropriate yo we're wearing something that looks like we belong at a rock concert Matt, hey, you made it. Ready for tonight? Waiting for tonight. Whoa, when you will be here in my arms. Waiting for tonight. Ready? I was born ready. I can handle it. I am prepared to kill. This is not the date with Robert. You went to high school with Avril Lavigne? Oh my god, I'm so jealous. I went to high school dressed as Avril Lavigne. Mm-hmm. Yeah. True story. 
Very true story. People used to think I looked like her because I dyed my hair like red, but then it faded to orange. <laughs> and I used to straighten it every day. Are you? Uh, oh no, he did not like that. What did, what did we do? I gotta admit, I haven't been to a real concert since Pet Rocks were cool. I have no idea what I'm in for. We don't listen to music. We don't know, we don't run outside. Did your daughter make you take her to one of those boy band concerts where everyone holds signs and scream and cries? Yes, it was the Backstreet Boys. Oh. I got two lined up next month. I still can't get the glitter out of my car from the last one. Same. Every time someone sends me a letter to my P.O. box, the glitter just, it just never ends. Stay strong. But dude, I get to take you to your first concert in a long time. This is going to be awesome. Just hang with me, Christopher, and you'll be good. This scene is super supportive. It'll be a blast. Quick question. Hey, yeah. Shoot. Are there hard drugs? What is scene? <laughs> he laughs at me. Hey, yeah. Sorry, sorry. It's just weird because scene can describe a music scene as it pertains to a community of people who like the same genre, but can also describe a genre of music no one wants to admit they were into. Matt looks off in the distance. He says nothing, but I can tell he's thinking, never again. <laughs> That's confusing. Hey. You'll get it. The most important thing is that you enjoy yourself. Come on, let's head to the show. After waiting in a short line to get in, we finally find ourselves in a small venue with a stage at one end and a bar at the other. Most people here are closer to Amanda's age than mine. <laughs> Guys, we're at a scene concert with 18 year olds. And we're like at least 37 years old, right? Like we're like 37. Do you think that's our age? I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. I'm not saying it's like wrong, but it is something to consider about the environment that you're in. <laughs> My wanting youth is showing. I'm suddenly aware of my mortality. Where is Damien? He is immortal. When were the good years of my life? <laughs> Why is that such an existential question? When were the good years of your life? Have they happened yet? You could think about that for the rest of the night. Hmm? Will Amanda still love me as we both grow older? Wait, is sea punk actually a genre? Yes, sea punk is what whales listen to. True story. Are we going to the mosh pit? No offense, but how old are you? You look 27. Why is that offensive? I mean, yeah, I take offense to that because I'm actually 21 and you're saying I look 27. Ugh, rude. Matt, you made it. What? A younger kid runs up and high fives Matt. Is that his kid? Hmm. Or I hope we're not like, he's not dating a youngin. <laughs> the kid runs off and Matt turns to me, shuddering. I get nervous when people surprise high five me. Matt has not had his joint yet. <laughs> me too. Uh -oh. I'm like a small animal, loud noises and large gr It's just like Menchi. This is a description of Menchi. Do you also enjoy curling up in a patch of sunlight to take a nap? So does Menchie. Oh. That's my favorite thing to do. A couple other people notice that Matt's in the crowd and yell hey, so he's oh. popular. <laughs> hey, he's so man. popular. Matt turns his attention back to me. Hmm. I'm so afraid, why? I don't understand. What kind of person is Matt? Like, everyone knows him, everyone loves him, but he like doesn't, seem to react well to anyone so I'm so confused let's go grab a beer Matt and I line up at the bar where a couple of older concert goers hang out a couple people notice him and tip oh. their drinks at him how is he so popular but he hates people how, do, how does one achieve that I don't understand 
Fenchy, I don't understand. Fenchy, you're you're cut off here. There you go. Menchie's at the concert. <laughs> he's a friendly introvert, but if he's always doesn't want to talk to people, how does he become friends? That's kind of like my question, you know? Because like I never want to talk to anyone, but I want friends. <laughs> hey. Oh yeah, I go to a lot of shows, but I don't want to talk to anyone. Hey. But it's times like these where I realize I can only be charming and funny for about five minutes before I run out of stuff. This is a great thing to tell someone on your first date. Yeah. <laughs> and then I become keenly aware of where my hands are. And that there's no comfortable place in your mouth for your tongue to rest. Yeah, we noticed this about Matt when we first met him. He just like says everything that's in his brain. <laughs> but again, like not that there's anything wrong with him being nervous or unsure or anxious. But it's just like another example of a conversation that's just about having a conversation. He's just talking about his struggle with having conversations, which means that we're ultimately not having a meaningful, meaningful conversation where we're like sharing our views and values about things. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying it's all bad, but it's just like, where is, where is the conversation that is not a conversation about conversations? Where do I put my tongue? Oh. He's being real and open with me? Yeah, but if if that only includes just telling me how you don't like having conversations, like, what what are we gonna do? We're just gonna have a conversation about not having conversations? <laughs> I don't know. We still think he's charming and funny. I'm not saying he's not charming and funny. But like, let's actually talk. Like, who are you? What do you like to do? What are your values, you know? We grab our drinks. This scene seems friendly. I don't know why people wouldn't want to admit that they listened to it. <laughs> ha, let's check out the merch. Hey. Matt and I walk over to a small booth in the corner of the room where a crusty looking teenager, <laughs> a crusty looking teenager guards a section of shirts and records. He singles me out from across the room and hops up on the chair. Step on up, get your merch here. I got t-shirts, I got tank tops, I got all the gifts and accoutrement, a discerning concert goer of considerable taste might want you. I gesture to myself, face flushing red. Yes, you. You look like a fella who knows their music. Oh no, oh no. They're just trying to sell us some shit. Please stop yelling at me. <laughs> I'm kind of on edge because this is an unfamiliar face and I don't know anybody and I would appreciate it if you could stop singling me. Are we actually saying this? This is also a weird thing to say back. He's, they're just trying to sell merch. Like I get it, but I wouldn't say this to them. Why would I say this? I would just back up and be like, no, I'm good. The kid immediately hops down off the chair. You got it. Sorry about that. I just get really excited about salesmanship. They get commissions. I can't relate, but I appreciate your enthusiasm nonetheless. Hey, Pablo. Your friend looked lost, so I figured I'd give him the old razzle-dazzle. How the hell are you, Matt? Hey. Day by day, my man. They do that thing where they high-five, but also turn it into a hug. Your mom doing better? She's still single. If you want to be my dad, I could make that connect. If you want to be my dad. Are they saying this in like a sexual way? Or like, <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to deal with you every single day? Fair enough. Who's your bud? Hey. That's Christopher. Thought I'd bring out a concert pal. Pablo leans close to Matt. Is Christopher cool? Hmm. Matt eyes me. I eye him back. He cracks a smile. Yeah. Pablo brings me in for a bro hug. My dude. I'm not sure what to say, but I give the courtesy two pats on the back as is customary in our society for people you don't know super well, <laughs> but still want to be friendly to. Pablo's a total card. Kid plays the hell out of a bass. I know Ben's going to laugh at me. <laughs> Guys, I never know 
whether it's bass or bass, and I just like say both of them because I I can't remember. <laughs> bass, 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 bass. <laughs> Ben is laughing at me. Ben, it's a bass. It's a bass fish. Bass Pro. That's a shop in Toronto. Bass Pro. <laughs> Base based. <laughs> bass fish bass instrument. Yes. Yeah. But isn't it spelled like this when it's both? Like a bass fish is spelled like this, but if you're saying a bass drum, would you also spell it like this? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Yo, some there's some things my brain never learned, you know, or just like is incapable of remembering. It just happens. <laughs> it's all about that bass. It's all about that bass, actually. Yeah, man. When are we starting our witch house band? You know I'm out of the game. It's a shame, you know, what the fuck is this? Vacant Vale would have slayed with symbols. <laughs> It'll slay once you start actually making music instead of just printing on a bunch of band shirts. We got the sickest logo. While they talk, I check out the merch. These shirts, are we gonna buy one for Amanda? A crowd begins to form. The band walks on stage. Is that a harpsy score? Harpsy harp bleh? harpsy scored? No, harpsichord. Harpsichord. The lead singer addresses the crowd. He has a mandolin slung behind his back. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're Jonathan Jones and the Speakeasy Choir. My name is Daniel. Let's start the show. Oh no, these guys. Wait, what do you mean? Oh no, what? Without time to respond, the band starts playing the most cacophonous noise I've ever heard. What is this? What? What's going on? Help! Matt doesn't say anything, he just hands me earplugs. I put the earplugs in and whatever is assaulting my ears gets a lot quieter. I don't- what's going on? Hey. Jesus, did that cellist just break his bow in half? I don't get this. The set seems to go on forever. There's no breaks in the song, and I think one of the band's members' jobs is specifically just to burn poetry on stage. So you say you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? Mm. What? This is the wonderful template for a first date. Let's scream at each other. Drop it. He can't hear me. Just stop talking. Just... <laughs> I don't think we're having fun. <laughs> Who said smoothing bass coat? Ah! <laughs> smoothing bass coat. Yo, I'm gonna start saying that. Peely bass coat. You guys using your peely bass coat? <laughs> okay, no, this is impossible. How long have they been playing this same song? 10 minutes, 20, a year? Eventually the set ends. Oh my god. Okay, so what happened here? Matt took us to the wrong band? Hmm. Uh -oh. Man, that was something. I promise Pup is much better. Oh, it was like the intro band? I just have a lot of questions that I know I'll never get the answer to. Oh yeah, he sprains his ankle at every show. They were being real about that. Why? This does not sound healthy. <laughs> What? Let's grab another beer. Yeah, can we like just back up, have a conversation away from the loud noises? Matt and I go back to the bar. More and more people file into the concert space. It's getting crowded. I'm getting sweaty. We grab our beers and I try to follow Matt back to our spot. But there are so many people that I'm having a hard time keeping up. 
As I work my way through the throngs of excited concert goers, I realize I've lost Matt entirely. <gasps> I stop and look around, seeing nothing but a sea of hip 20-something. This is not a good date. I'm lost. How am I ever going to find Matt here? Where's the exit? Yo, we're going home. Are there even exits? There are no exits. <laughs> what if I'm trapped in this building forever? Am I going to see Amanda again? Suddenly, a hand reaches out to grab me. It's Matt. Uh -huh. Almost lost you, buddy. Phew, I got really nervous for a second there. You and me both, dude. He takes my hand and leads me back towards stage. I feel myself blushing a little. We finally settle back into our spot and wait for the band to start. Busy place, huh? Oh. Yeah, Pup really brings out a crowd. So you go to concerts a lot? Uh -huh. Oh yeah. It's one of my absolute favorite things in the world. I think it's one thing to listen to music and connect with it, but when you're in a room full of people connecting with the music the same way that you are, that's magic. I suddenly have to pee. <laughs> I've never heard it put that way. That's really beautiful. Also, I have to pee. Hey. Hurry up, man. They're about to go on. Great timing. Yo, who are we going to meet in the bathroom? I should have really gone before I left the house, but Amanda was watching beauty videos on YouTube in the bathroom. <laughs> she had an eyeliner wing going half across her face. I'm so proud of her. I make it to the restroom, but it's one of those single person restrooms with a line outside of it. Who's there? The band starts. Crap. The people that were initially milling around the venue all crowd up against the stage as Pup plays. How am I going to find Matt now? Should not have left. Should have peed before the date. <gasps> a game! Is, that, is this a game? Do I have to play a game? Everyone's rushing the main stage to watch Pup play. I'm sure Matt will be up there too. I gotta get there without being trampled by the rowdy youths. Avoid the youths. Wait, what do I do? Just like... kids point is oh I survived I survived the crowd what does this mean oh. yo this is the this is the best part of the date so far oh. Woo. Woo. Oh. we don't need beer we need water God damn, I'm exhausted. I'm finally able to work my way through the crowd. I'm bumped from behind. I'm in the middle of a bunch of youths. I'm in the pit. Oh no, we're in the mosh pit. How do I get out of the mosh pit? 
Uh, you shoulders me. Hey. I guess I'm moving in the circle now. Oh my god, no. Uh-oh. We're getting body checked by youths. This is it. This is how I die. Yo, this is, like, not funny. <laughs> not funny. Okay, finally. Matt. Did us just, like, almost getting trampled turn him on? Uh-huh. You're wild, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Matt throws his arm around me and we jump back into the circle, bashing into youths. Yo, this, this does turn him on. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you mess with the pit. Oh. Me neither. I just accidentally fell it. Fell into it. I can't believe this. I'm having fun. I'm a little mad that I didn't stretch before physical activity like Craig taught me, but I'm having fun. The song ends and the pit finally dissipates. Everyone cheers on Pup. Maybe I only got enough pit energy for one song. Haha. <laughs> All right, man, let's retreat. We'll show these kids how it's done another day. We work our way back to a more comfortable spot in the crowd. Yo, I'm tired just from like reading about concerts. <laughs> I'm exhausted from reading about mosh pits, okay? I ca I cannot tell you how tiring it is to read about mosh pits. Yeah. With the concert over, the crowd starts making their way to the exit, and there's another mosh pit on the way to the exit. Hey. This background does not match the story. Yo, true. There's like literally no one here. <laughs> Hey, I'll meet you outside. Gotta say bye to like 800 people. I hang outside the venue. Finally, air that doesn't smell like sweat. Hey man, thanks for waiting 27 minutes. I got you a present. He hands me the t-shirt I was looking at. Whoa, thanks man. Hey dude. Saw you eyeballing it back at the merch booth. Hey. I mean, anyone who tears it up that hard on their first time back to a concert deserves a reward. I would never do this in real life. <laughs> Amanda will love this. Yes, we're definitely giving the t-shirt to Amanda. Oh, yeah. Huh. I was not thinking about your daughter. <laughs> Why doesn't he like our daughter? Why can't we give... Oh, wait, is that bad? I guess. I don't know. I guess it's bad that we're re-gifting the shirt to our daughter. But, like, also, it's our kid. Hey. <laughs> I kind of feel like Matt has a very young soul. You know what I mean? He doesn't want kids. He wants to be a kid still. <laughs> Like, a little too much for me, personally. Like, he, like, literally wants to hang out with teenagers in a mosh, mosh pit. These are his friends. This is, this is literally his buddies. <laughs> and they're all, like, 18. <laughs> hey, pup. I mean, hey, dude. Didn't realize you were here. Hey. I'm so glad I could make it. You guys put on a great show. He spent money on you, not your kid. Yeah, I know. But, like, it's... Just a t-shirt. It doesn't mean we don't appreciate the gift. Whatever. We'll share it in the laundry. <laughs> Thanks. Hey. Well, see you around. That was it? Thanks for introducing me to the band. Wait, you know Pup? Hey. Oh yeah, met him a couple of times when they first started touring. Good kids. Yeah, we're like best friends with teenagers. <laughs> Whoa! Uh. Hey. Come on, let's grab some diner food. I suddenly realize how hungry I am. Man, mosh pits take a lot out of you. Ooh, we're at a diner. We walk into a diner with a cute neon sign. We tear into some bacon and eggs hey. and a corn food. So there I am in the pit trying to explain to the face tattoo guy that I didn't mean to elbow him in the face tattoo, but he's already seeing red. Not from the tattoo, which, co which coincidentally was red. 
Do you want to know something funny? One of the ingredients I'm allergic to, like one of many, apparently it can exist in some red dyes for tattoos. So my dermatologist warned me to not get red tattoos. <laughs> I was like, really? I don't know. I, I guess like, why would I have heard of that before? But I just thought that was so interesting. So now I remember this. I have zero tattoos and have zero plans to get tattoos. But yeah, I can't get a tattoo that's red. Because I will blow up. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> He's lumbering towards me and there's nowhere to go. It's the end for me, right? Then I don't know where I get this idea. I just lean back and spread my arms. Just like that, I'm crowd surfing away from him in slow mo. You should have seen the look on his face. Bought him a beer afterwards and we were cool. We still follow each other on dad book. Glad you guys worked it out. Hey. Yeah, man. Just goes to show that Punk's not dead. So how did you get in to see all these amazing... Hey. Con like, I used to tour in a band. We were small, but we traveled around the States. Whoa! Oh. Yeah, I mean, we were poor, and we had to scrape a lot together just to survive. But I wouldn't trade those experiences for anything. Hey. But yeah, that's how I knew a bunch of those people at the show. Music like this builds an amazing com amazing community, especially in a town like this. Just a lot of positive energy and good vibes. I got that feeling. Plenty of friendly people, especially Pablo. Oh, oh man, everybody loves Pablo. His mom's been raising him on her own, and you can tell that it's been tough on both of them. I know he looks up to me, so I try to help him out whenever I can. That's really nice of you. Hey. Single parents have to look out for each other. How's Carmen Sita? She says she wants to learn the drums. Oh, boy. Hey. It'll be loud, and I need to take a lot of aspirin, but I'll manage. I'm suddenly grateful that Amanda's hobbies are all super quiet. Photography, collaging, whatever it is she does on the internet. I'm trying to be supportive of Carmen Sita's rebellious phase, but I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of it, doesn't it? I think it would be a good daddy-daughter activity to find something to rebel against together. Like what? Uh, consumers. <laughs> why do we gotta get up early in the day after Thanksgiving and line up to buy things? Like, why can't we share things? Mm. Comrade, you're speaking of dangerous things here. <laughs> he and I laugh. We keep digging into our big plates of greasy diner food. Hey. Man. Oh. Being a single dad is rough sometimes. It's a l See, now we're having a conversation. Okay, okay. You know, like we're relating about being single daddies and stuff. I understand that all too well. I mean, at least we have the rest of dads to hey. talk to. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Hmm. I get really nervous sometimes talking to people. But he's so cool. No, why are we acting surprised? He literally told us 800 times he gets nervous talking to people. Me too. I've never really considered myself an extrovert. and never really considered myself an introvert. I'm just uncomfortable in every situation always. <laughs> Same. <gasps> whether I go inside, outside, whether there's people, whether there's no people, I'm just always uncomfortable. <laughs> hey. Matt, uh, you're fine. You're actually really easy to talk to. You know that? I smile. Matt and I spend the rest of the night trading daughter stories. Turns out our kids are a lot alike. Okay, that was better. That went better. We walk back to our respective oh. houses. Tonight was a blast, man. Loved it. Although I'm probably going to feel it in my knees in the morning. Ha. Huh. You and me both. I, I only like the second part of the date. I did not like the first part. I don't, I don't want to go to mosh pits. I don't want to get lost. I would like to retain my hearing. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad. All right. I'm calling it quits for the night. Stay cool, man. I feel like there was like two minutes we spent talking about things. But like 12 minutes. We spent not talking about anything. <laughs> Matt called me cool. I walk into the house with my heart in my throat. Amanda pops her head mm. out. <gasps> hey, Pops. How was the show? 
Matt thinks I'm cool. Guys, we learned how to be cool. We we go into a mosh pit. That's how to be cool, apparently. Um, hmm. Matt's definition, not ours. You don't say. Manda Panda. Matt thinks I'm cool. We're very proud of this moment. Yeah. Blind leading the blind, huh? Wow, I just got dunked on by my own child. Unbelievable. Hey, Amanda, remind me which one of us just tore it up at the pit at a punk show. Like, yes, this would impress our daughter, but, like, our daughter's 18. You know what I mean? We're, like, 37. <laughs> First of all, how dare you? That show is a classic. Second of all, you mosh in the pit? Who even are you? I don't think we're being ourselves, you know what I mean? I am your extremely cool father. Eh? Also, I got you a shirt. Well, Matt got the shirt, but it's yours now. <laughs> I toss the shirt her way. Sick. This will be great to sleep in. Sweetie, please stop wearing the same shirt every day. Switch it up. Hey. Isn't the truly punk move to not listen to what my dad has to say? To fly in the face of authority and wear the same three shirts on a rotating basis? Correct. Ugh, I need to stop being such a good dad. You're learning too fast. All right. I'm hitting the hay, pops. I'll see you in the pit. Night, kiddo. Dad tip. Always carry a pocket knife. Let's see how it went. See? Not bad, man. He did not like when we said we were going to give our daughter the shirt. And um, I don't think he noticed that I was uncomfortable in the mosh pit. I don't really want to spend my date being sweated on by teenagers. You know what I mean? <laughs> At the age of 37, it's not for me. It's not for me. It was the t-shirt, yeah. But like, I don't even think it's that bad. If, if you're a dad and you have kids, to share things with your kids, like that's just gonna happen, right? I didn't think it was that bad of a move. You know what was bad of a move? Taking us to a concert where the wrong band played and we were screaming and I was lost and then the, I was you were just talking to teenagers the whole time. <laughs> you lost points with him because of your bladder? Well, that's not fair. That's not our fault. What kind of bullshit is that? <laughs> Welcome. You've got dad. <laughs> Okay, we'll see what he says, but then we'll wrap it up because Menchie's tired. Like, look at Menchie. Hey, Christopher, what are your feelings about poker? Uh-oh. Beyond hardly knowing her. Ha ha ha. Poker. Okay, yes, we get the joke. There it is. Good talk. Wait, I actually like poker. I just saw the joke and I had to take the shot. Please, Matt, I'm a dad. I'm contractually obligated. No, no, I get that. Anyways, we've been playing weekly poker games, and I figured I should send an invite. That sounds great. I love losing money. <laughs> okay, let's not take the date right now. I think we should probably call it a night. What happened, guys? We have not made any progress. <laughs> Guys, we are no closer to finding our dream daddy. Matt is the one? Yo, I don't I don't think so. I don't think he's the one. I think he's not the one. I didn't like that date. <laughs> Do we really want poor Simply to play this game forever? Oh my god. <laughs> no. You're too indecisive. I don't think that's what it is. Like the the last few dates were objectively not good. Like they they were just not good. There's no way they were good. <laughs> Ban. Who are you liking best right now? Well, I thought I liked Craig, but the last date we went on was just like all he did was talk about how we were on a date about running. And then we just spent like two hours looking for his 40 pound baby's toy and it wasn't it didn't introduce any conversation you know it was just kind of like okay I'm help I'm just doing chores with you you know and that's it like we didn't talk I didn't learn anything about Craig 
I didn't learn about where our relationship could go. He didn't really say that many funny jokes. I didn't think I was laughing that much. I don't know. Am I too picky? Maybe I'll just like never pick a daddy. It's because Ban is the real daddy. <laughs> Simply plus baby equals no good. Exactly. The 40 pound baby kind of freaks me out. It's just always there. You know what I'm saying? It's just like always there. It's like a heavy weight that just won't go away. Menchi wins the game. Yes. She, Menchi wins. Clearly you're more of a teenage parent. Yeah, I totally. If I was a parent, I would elect to be a parent of a teenager and not of a baby. <laughs> That's how that works, right? You can just choose. <laughs> I'd rather raise a teenager than a baby. <laughs> I'm not teaching a kid how to eat or poop, you know? But I could teach the kid like some lessons about relationships. I feel like I could do that. <laughs> But I will not clean your ass. <laughs> clean your own ass. <laughs> Menchi heard me. See? Menchi, she cleans herself. I don't know how to clean her. Okay, I'm saving the game, but we're going to have to discuss what, what I'm going to do here in the future of Dream Daddy. Guys, what do we do? What do we do with Dream Daddy? Like, I, I want to at least pick a daddy so I can, you know, have concluded the game have somewhat of a completion. I don't want to just completely abandon it. I thought we were going to do that today and I was just going to land on Craig, but it went so bad. I can't even lie and pretend that I like Craig because it did not go well. So we're probably going to have to do one more after the mod night, which will be uh, it's probably next Wednesday. And then we might have to do one more Dream Daddy after that. And then after that, I'm definitely going to switch to a more serious game. Um, either, I was going to say Stranger Things. <laughs> Not Stranger Things. <laughs> Life is Strange, the first part. Or one of the other ones we discussed um, to be determined. Next time we play Dream Daddy, I will do a poll. But like, the problem is, you guys can you can't pick a daddy. Listen to me, you can't pick a daddy that we haven't explored that much because it'll take too much time to get to the end. <laughs> you have to pick someone that we've already started. Pole lose the game? I think if you fail dates, you won't have the happy ending with that daddy. So what's fail, F or just do poorly like C? Chad is completely split. We got Damien, Joseph, Hugo. We got no more daddies. <laughs> I mean, here, why, why don't I just pull that? Um, next gaming stream, question mark. And then we'll do finish Dream Daddy. So I do want to know, do you guys like care if I finish it? If we finish it, there'd be like one more episode and I would just not care if there's only one more. Or play a new game. And this will be in two weeks from now. So I just put the poll in the chat. Have your say. Do we finish Dream Daddy with one more stream? Or do we just say fuck it and play a new game? Probably a more serious game serious game so you know we can have deep thoughts <laughs> so we can have deep thoughts and so everyone can overanalyze me and my indecisiveness and get mad at me for not <laughs> for not making a decision <laughs> or for having no empathy <laughs> I am a robot 
Okay, most people are voting Finish Dream Daddy, but those are also people who've been watching up until this point. So all the people who hate watching Dream Daddy have already left the stream. You know what I mean? You need closure, you need an ending. Simply, if you wanted to be a teen parent, they could definitely use your help. I, yeah, I, I'm sorry, I wasn't like serious about having an actual child, whether they're old or not. I feel like I'm kind of a proxy parent in some ways to people on the internet. I know that's not the same thing. <laughs> but in some ways, you know, you can look at people on the internet to just look up to or listen to or get some guidance, even though it's not on a one-on-one -on -one individual basis. I feel like that's my, that's what I can offer in life um, as opposed to actually taking care of a real human in real life <laughs> only in the digital world i think we should stay single yo is that an option can we just like can we just be a dad and that's it no dream daddy we are the dream daddy we see our own self-worth and self-purpose and just decide that you know it's just going to be us and amanda and that's okay if she goes to university or college because uh you know she's moving on with her life and we're just gonna chill we're just gonna no drama. Just, we'll just go to barbecues. You're my mom. Is it time for bed, Riley? Riley, what time is it? <laughs> Can we pick no daddies? I don't know. Is that an option? You're basically my third parent. I am your father. You're a strong, independent dad who don't need no man exactly. I feel like that's what I am. I had a teacher that never wanted kids and I would always say she already had her, us as her kids. And that was more than enough. I feel like you're the same. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. Like I do not need children. I got you guys. <laughs> you are my children. I also have cats. Who's Ben's favorite daddy? I don't know, good question. Ben, who's your favorite daddy? Of all the daddies, if you had to pick. If you were playing Dream Daddy, who would you pick? Let Ben decide? <laughs> yeah. It's gonna take more than one stream to finish it. Yeah, but I would target one daddy and just like ride it out finish it just get to the end even if it's not uh, you know who we want which is not how you should decide relationships at all but we would settle for the purposes of concluding <laughs> pick me you're not in the game you're playing cubert you're plating cubert what does that mean You're playing Hubert? What do you mean? I thought you're supposed to be moderating the stream. <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> All right, okay. I don't know what's going on anymore. Benchy, what's going on? <laughs> ben picks daddy switch. I agree, even if it ends with Craig or Damien because we've dated them the most, that's at least an ending, that's fine. Okay, we're probably gonna land in one of those. <laughs> All right, so chat voted. I'm gonna close the poll. 66%, um, that's two and three said to finish. Why is it 34? Oh wait, yeah. That, that makes sense. For a second, I forgot how to do math. Help me. <laughs> okay, I'm ending the poll. Ben has retired. One day into retirement and he's already slacking. Yeah, no. Go to the polls. <laughs> I 
We've dated Robert a lot too though, right? Yeah, we did. Didn't we go on like two dates with Robert? So it could be Robert. I almost want to explore Robert just because I think that storyline seems more interesting. Like literally nothing happened with Craig. Nothing. Like, sorry, he's just boring. I thought he was kind of cool and fit and fun, you know, like fab fit fun. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. He's boring. Not Robert, red flag. I know, exactly. Yes, we... Robert has a million red flags, but it's good content. You know what I'm saying? It's like clickbait for YouTubers. We will date the bad daddy just for content. <laughs> we must save Gotham City. That's right, chat. Okay, we will see. All right, so... um. I will be streaming. I'm going to go. I'm going to go have dinner with Menchie and Ban. I'm going to go eat with Daddy Ban. But thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. I will see you guys on Saturday. Usual time. Same place. You know the deal. Uh, I actually don't know what I'm doing yet, so I have to figure that out. <laughs> what should we do on Saturday? That's not a game. Suggestions? Comments? Recommendations? The, the suggestion box is open. What do we do on Simply Saturday? Um, we could go back to the Nails 101 series and I could do painting on short nails, but that would require Ben to be in attendance. And I know Ben's been very busy uh, streaming, you know, in his retirement. Paint our nails? How do I paint your nails? Yoga? What? Garbage bowls? Garbage bowls would have to be a dinner stream for me though. Nail art, short nails. Discord. We could just go through Discord. I could go through, you know what I've never done is uh, gone through people's shrines on Discord. <laughs> Something like that. Okay. I will brainstorm nail art using the new collection. So there actually is a video going up on the Hollow Taco YouTube channel using light mode. The nail art I was wearing for a few weeks there. You love the Nails 101 series? Yeah, I am I wanna keep building that one, but um, I have to get through basics like the short nails painting and stuff. Bon appetit, merci. Merci r dot st. We could do nail art, but like I already have a nail art video coming out on Sunday. Garbage bowls is on my list of something to do in a Wednesday stream like this time slot because for me it's dinner. I wouldn't do that at 11 in the morning on Saturday is my time. Menchie weekend streaming, take the day off. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like I'm not streaming, Menchie streaming. <laughs> Show us the next collection. Oh, you're so sneaky, Princess Blingy. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that right now. Reading your hate comments when you do that on Snap, it's hilarious. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I have mixed feelings about that. I think it's funny to occasionally read hate comments because, I don't know, it's just fun to like basically make fun of them. But by doing it, I also do give attention to them, which can encourage more people to say hate comments, whether they're trolling or not. You know what I mean? Um, and then people are like, why do you give any airtime to negativity? And so I'm like, oh, I hear you, but I also think it's funny. <laughs> so I don't know. Simply Mail, yes, I want to do more Simply Mail Logical, but not this Saturday because it was like so recent that we did a Simply Mail. I'm thinking like once a month maybe we'll go through my archive of three-year-old Simply Mail Logical stuff. P.O. Box is closed, just so you know. We love paint with Simply and a lot of us will have our sets on Saturday. That's a really good point. Okay, I'll, I'll keep that in mind for sure. I gotta go by. Same. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Sorry, guys. 
<laughs> all right thank you guys so much for joining me i will see you guys on saturday and then again on wednesday and then again on saturday and then again on wednesday and then again on saturday and then again on wednesday does that work <laughs> twice a week and on taco tuesday right Manchi? taco tuesday <laughs> all right everyone thanks so much for watching and playing dream daddy with me and i hope you have a wonderful night and evening and the rest of the week and um maybe you'll see Menchi if she streams tomorrow or friday wait you want to stream this week i think she's feeling stream this week all right everyone thanks so much for watching i'll see y'all later bye